Are you here to take me out? Get ready, fight!
All right, cool. Black Moon, you hear me? Awesome, awesome. You might want to adjust you wanna, your, your mic up a little bit. Yeah, I think so. A little higher, 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 higher. Talk? Right there. All right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. Man, I'm sexier than a mug right now. Good, good, That's good. That's what's up. All right. So we're here live at the Fall Classic 2017. This is the Battle Royale. Uh, that's gonna The last qualifier for Battle Royale. Um, after this is obviously the grand finals yep. over there at NEC. NEC. The, the winner here gets a, a paid flight plus an extra $1,000 to uh, to the champion for winning. I'm here with Black Moon Rising X. What's going on, bro? What's going on, Not bro? much. Just waiting for these guys to start. What's going on, everybody? I'm here with Black Moon. I'm Master. I'm going to be commentating some of the matches tonight or today. I feel like it's night because it's always dark in here. But <laughs> today, uh, and it's going to be against uh, Rakuto and Hoodless. So this is going to be a really good match. Rakuto, if you guys don't know, is the winner of NEC last year. So he's the champion of that. So it's going to be interesting to see how he does here against Hoodless. Hoodless is obviously a well-known player as well. Uh, known for his rig, Zach, and several other characters. Uh, so it will be interesting to see who, who who he will pull out today. Most likely Mai. He's been using Mai the whole time, so yes, I'm thinking he, he might pull out Mai. How do you feel about that matchup? Uh, Mai against Bayman? Or like... Yeah, Mai against Bayman. Because you know he's going to use Bayman. He's in favor in Mai, I'll say. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Because she has all the spacing tools. And Rikudo has to do like a little bit of hard race here and there. He does have a parry, though. That Hoodless has to think about. But that's pretty much it. It's just a parry that he has to think about. But I think it's in Mai's favor. Gotcha, gotcha. I think I think the, the, the part, if he does go with Mai, it looks like he's going to go with Zach. But if he does go with Mai, I think his struggle would be uh, the sidestepping. I think he could probably the, roll, tank roll a lot. The, 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 the tank roll, yeah, yeah. Very evasive. Yeah. And he has an offensive hold option out of that, too. So you got to commit to a crouch. Yeah. Or if you're doing a string while he's doing a tank roll, if you commit to a mid, it should beat him out of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. As long, like as, it, as long as he becomes active in time before yep. he gets him. But it looks like he's going to go with Zach. Yeah. Um, Rakuto, uh, obviously Bayman. Uh, occasionally he picks Leon, but in this case he's going to go with Bayman. So let's get this show on the road. Yep. His Bayman is really good. He's also known for doing like really good reads on his holds. And Bayman's holds do tremendous damage on high counter. Absolutely. Absolutely. Big damage. He has advanced uh, or expert holds. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the few characters that has that, and obviously, it's and Zach, expert. He has a forward throw, that's a reset, with, gu with guaranteed two high punches, and a good mix of right? So here we are. All right, so Hulis as Zach and Rakuto as Bayman, we're going in right now. Just a couple of quick hits, exchanges, with a couple of lows. Rakuto come in with a quick stun, goes in for the throw. Can he break it? No, he's not breaking it. The only thing breaking right now is Zach's back. <laughs> here we go, 39 6 on the clock. Rakuto trying to check him with the low with the low hit. Fourth throw. Jab into the fourth throw Very again. Set. Blocks all of it. Doesn't it doesn't punish, interesting. Oh, oh, going against against oh yeah, against against massive damage if he doesn't break it, yeah. That offensive hold does big damage no matter what. And if he breaks the offensive hold, Bayman is plus three. Absolutely. He still has the advantage, so that means Bayman can still put the pressure on you mm -hmm. even if you break his throws. Low sweep from Hoodless. Four kick kick. Fourth throw again to the low sweep. Oh, go. gets hit by the tank roll. Yep. Rakuto is going to take advantage of this moment right here to get good damage. Tries to back up. Couldn't back up fast enough. His step is not the greatest, but he was trying to back up. He couldn't get away from it. Gets hit by the lows. Hulis is trying to keep him away. Yeah, that's facing game. Like, Damien kind of has some issues with that, too. Oh. Nice parry. Gets back turn. Falls. Oh, he tried to go for the wall reset there. Yeah, he tried, he tried to go for that wall reset. With well, the offensive hold, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was trying to get him trapped in the wall. He limited, his, uh, limited all his options, but uh, was yeah, unsuccessful. For him, for him being so slow, yep. Yeah. Oh, nice punish. Again. Oh, catches him with the second low hit. Oh, interrupts. Oh, the three, 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 okay. okay, so right now Rakuto needs to get back into his rhythm here. He seems like he's kind of struggling to kind of get his... Uh, his, uh, his rhythm going and trying to put that pressure. He usually can go pretty hard and get good damage, but right now it seems like Hullis is doing a pretty good job at keeping him at bay. Nice advancement kick hold. Breaks his leg. Hullis obviously has the life lead, but it doesn't take much for Rakuto to just come back with Bayman with a good strong throw. 20 seconds on the clock. If I were Hoodless, I would definitely run the clock. Oh. But he came in too close. This is going to pay for it. Oh, he got it with that 2 2 6 P. No, it 2 one 4 P, I believe that's it. He didn't, have, he didn't have to go in. He didn't have to go in right there. No, he he could have just stayed out the whole time. He could have ran the clock, made Rakuto have a... What do you make call him it? whiff something. Yeah, make him whiff something. Make him take a risk. But he went in there and lost that round. Like, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Kudo was ready for that. He yeah, went and got really him. Yeah, and Kudo is so good in dealing with those situations and those clutch moments. He's really good. So fourth throw again. Here we go. So low sweep. Advantage. Quick to the combo. Oh, nice. He offensive with the offensive. Wow. That's a ballsy move. Alright. Like oh, oh. They trade. Gets hit by the low. Down punch into the low sweep. Made a get up kick. Oh, it looked like. Like Hillis was going to push something there, but he just kind of stopped. That was kind of weird. Down but he, for the last round. Yep. He takes that round, two to two apiece. This is the first match. Nice time for That time for was super evasive. Yeah, really evasive. Voids highs and oh, side steps. Nice. All I like that option. It crushes the low wake up kick. Here we go. Oh. Knocked him to the ground. Guaranteed low throw. Snaps yeah. his neck. Tries to mix him up. Okay, they back up a little bit. I would do some tech throws in this situation right yeah. here. Nice oh, oh, nice, nice mid kick hold from Rakuto saying, That's it. I'm done with the kicks. The read, like, and he caught it on high counter, which was so, like, even if, if he had, like, mid health, like, it will still finish him off. Yeah. Because of the tremendous damage on high counter. That was a really good mid kick hold from Rakuto. Uh, Hulis, I'm guessing, is going to go to character select. Yeah, I think it's he's going with Rig. And it's probably gonna, yeah, go with Rig. Yeah, with Rig. Oh, oh no, maybe he just needed to back up. Okay. It's okay to get, get take a couple quick Rig, seconds. Rig will be a good option because, like, when I play Rig, he's always attacking. It's always his turn. Attack, attack, attack. And you're always blocking. And he has a lot of tracking moves, too. That, that too. That, that, that low tracking, low kick. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, really good. Really good. Faster than even Zax. I think Zax is uh, 19, and I think his is 16. 16, yep. Yeah. Nice. High punch hole into the ground. What's Rakuto gonna do? Gets ground stomped. Nice offensive hold from Rakuto. What's gonna happen here? Another nope. offensive hold. He's gonna. Oh, he breaks it. Goes to a low sweep. Right here, we're in the desert. There are big pillars here that can really uh, give you huge damage if you get knocked into them. But right now, we're out here in the uh, open area. Oh, that run up and throw. Oh, not enough yet. Oh, what nice. a hold. Nice. Right now, see, now Rakuto is kind of in his zone now. He's in his zone, he's feeling himself. He, he understands that, okay, I kind of have the momentum now. I can do whatever I want, and it, it generally hits. And, and you gotta get players like that out of your head or else you're gonna start suffering a lot of losses. Also, what is not punishing uh, Bay Bayman's 3-3-P, which, which looks like an uppercut? Yeah. It's very unsafe. And he could do like a forward throw out of that. Wow. Was waiting for the animation in attack. Nice mid punch hold, uh, mid punch hold out of Hoodless though. He takes that round, one round a piece here on this match. The wall got in the way right there from yeah. Hoodless. Breakable objects, they will definitely help you if you land them. Yep. It's a lot of strategy into the game. It's definitely mm -hmm. to keep a awareness of the stages, all these big elaborate stages that they have in the game. So you definitely want to make sure you know where you're at, so you can take advantage of the walls and of course breakable objects. Kind of poking that shot right now. Low sweep gets it in. Four throw. So the low sweep. So oh, another low nice. sweep blocks and punishes. What's gonna happen here? No get up kick. The laser attack. Four throw. Oh, the laser string gets the last hit in. But Rakuto avoids the hit and goes straight for the throw. That was really interesting. Oh, gets the follow. Nice kick cold. 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, oh my goodness, this could be it right here. Oh, yep. got it. Like whenever um, Rakuto likes to crouch, he loves to go for that 3-3P option. It's yeah. so good. But we don't expect it. Hood Hoodless needs to take advantage of the time that he's wasting on them. You know what I'm saying? He gets to drain the time a lot, and usually you'll have the lead. So he needs to take advantage of that because he can just back up a little bit and make Rakuto make more, take more risk. Yeah, just take the life lead and back up. Yep. Bayman doesn't have good range except for his 2 one four, two. This was it. What's really interesting about this match right here is it haven't been like really crazy juggles. It's like literally been solid it's been hits. It's just like fundamental. Just yeah. great poking. Punishes here and there. Oh my oh, god, what a hold. Yeah. Oh, oh, is this it? No, no, this no. is it. Next. Oh. Wow, he stayed in for the get up kick, got hit by mid kick. Unbelievable. I didn't think he was going to get hit by that. Here we go. So that means he gives life to. Yeah, he gives life to Hillis for that. And let's see if Hillis can make the best of that situation. Obviously, there's a breakable um, object oh, behind him. He's oh, be nice, man. You have to commit to a cross to avoid the offensive move. Yeah. Nice, he followed up. He knew he was gonna tackle. Here we go. Oh, he took the throw. It was a normal throw though. It took a lot of life, but he didn't get as much he didn't lose as much life as he could have. Wow. Could have taken full advantage of that round. So what do you think is gonna happen? Obviously Rakuto probably won't change. I don't think he's gonna change. So it's gonna be Bayman versus Zack again. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's not changing. Like with Leon, I don't think he will do any good with Leon. Like Leon has like that that tackle, like it's really good because it's kind of hard to react to to, to to that tackle. And Bayman's just uh, he he just has more options in my opinion. He has the parries. The right, tank absolutely. Roll. The tank roll, the parries, and he's just as heavy as Leon, so you know. Oh, oh nice. he wasn't sure of go about going to the throw on the tank roll. And he got a good good read because he crouched. He got this crouch. See, what Hoodis is doing now is he's trying to trick him with the combo strings. He's trying to say, hey, I'm going to do the low sometimes. I might do the mid just to get some quick hits in. So yeah, he Hoodis gonna... loves to con condition you. Yeah. He's going to hit you with a couple of lows, and if you and if he sees you crouching or cross blocking, he's going to go for mid. Absolutely. Conditioning he, is very important. He, yep. He conditions you and he, he makes he he takes advantage of the traveling system, just making you letting you know like hey you can hold or you can block right here and then but I'm gonna switch it up. It's a mind game, a really good mind game. Nice mid punch hold. Breaks his arm. Oh, oh another offensive hold. Good, good. Another, another one. one. So he's setting the tone right here. He's trying to send a message to him. Oh he positions him to, to the wall. Oh, no. oh my goodness, what's gonna happen here? Does he have a mix-up? No. Oh he didn't do anything. I'm not sure if he did. Try to make an input or anything, but he didn't get anything right here. What's what's gonna happen? Oh my goodness! Oh, almost, the almost dead. Oh, oh wow! I thought I thought Rakuto was gonna hit him with the low sweep right there. I thought he was already in the animation. But yeah, no. it was slightly slower. Yeah. Hulis could be winning this match right here against Rakuto. Oh, he's going for the parries. He's making them. He's trying to expose the situation. Oh, nice. Oh, break out of it. Good down punch. Oh, it looked like Rakuto almost had the defensive hold on the wall, which would have been huge for him. Mm, he's attacking at this man. He's making hard yeah, reads he, right now. Oh, he has to go in to get the down, so he has to do ballsy reads now. All right, so Hunnis, again, has a life lead. He can back up he a little bit. Back up, let him make the mistake. He got the time. Oh, oh my god, no, this could be it. it. Oh no, he's going to go to... Oh, oh my goodness! He should have backed away. <laughs> I would have I backed away in that situation. Hunnis oh, takes that match. That was, that, was, that was a close match. Yeah, really close. Very good match. Um, Hoodless sends uh, Rakuto. Rakuto's not completely out. He still has a chance to come back. Yeah. He's in the loser's uh, side of the bracket now. Loser's bracket, that's right. And um, we'll see We'll see if he progresses and moves forward in the bracket. And, you know, as, uh, a guy that is that good, I think he's going to he's probably come back. Oh, yeah, def most definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, I think he seems pretty confident in, in loser. I think the only one that might be an issue is uh, x Kyle. Excalibur, yeah, Excalibur, another great player. There's a lot of good, good, good players here. Yeah. Um, and Excalibur, yep, he's been sent to lose by Hollow. It was pretty high. That was interesting. I was I'm in the middle of my match. I wish I could have seen it. <laughs> I was, in, I was, I like, was actually watching your on? match and uh, Hoodless's match as well. I couldn't get, get a chance to see it, but I heard a lot of noise going on over there at the uh, KBB Live mm -hmm. um, stream, and I was like, what's going on over here? And I went at the very end. Hollow had taken out yep. Excalibur and sent him into the loser. So it's a lot of crazy stuff going on, a couple of upsets. Definitely, uh, yep. If you guys are watching the stream at home, thank you guys for watching and sharing and being a part of this stream and uh, part of these uh, tournament series. Hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying these uh, matches from these really great players. Now we have another familiar match, Quiggle versus Hollow. Quiggle versus Hollow, okay. Mm -hmm, yep, uh, Hollow has beaten Quiggle before. I forgot what tournament it was. It was probably NEC, I think. I don't remember. But these two have been going back and forth. But yeah, Hollow, don't sleep on Hollow. He's really good. No, Hollow's really good. He Absolutely. He's really good at Alpha. Man, once he goes in, he, he that's his rhythm. Alpha does not have any wake up kicks. So um, when she's waking up, she has to like block most of the time or commit to like an, uh, like that one crouching uppercut move that she does that's really unsafe. So like he has to do things like that, like hard reads and unsafe stuff. Right. And, but that, that crouching uppercut. It avoids highs, right? I mean, it, yeah, it highs, goes under yeah. highs. So and that's it goes it. under offensive holds, too. Right. So it has some good attributes to it. So mm -hmm. it's not like it's a, a, a huge risk, but it is a risk nonetheless because it is slow. And depending on where you throw it, you could be at disadvantage. And, yeah. You know, you got to be careful how you get it. But, again, it does avoid all highs instantly. Practically. And also, um, Alpha's hold damage does not do that much. Well, she doesn't really have holds. She just has her parries. Just parry. Yeah, 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 true, true, true. Yeah. So the she fact... She does have one of the best damage and throws. Oh, absolutely. Her damage and throws, her combo damage is really good. Um, obviously, has three different critical bursts. Oh, so yes, the high, then two mids. Yeah. One's a kick and the other's a mid punch. Yep. Mm -hmm. So she has definitely a lot of options there that you all, you have to keep in mind when she's hitting you. But her defense is the worst in the game. It's the worst in the it's game. the worst in the game. The Whenever you play with Alpha, you got to keep that in mind that Alpha cannot defend, us, defend herself very well. She casts no holds, so she's not doing any damage when she holds you. 
and, and depending on the move that she uh, holds, she actually could be at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. True. Nine frame jabs, eleven frame mids. She's pretty fast too. You gotta balance it somehow, right? I yeah. Mean, uh, this big no, huge damage. No one. wake up kicks. No wake up kicks either. She, she, they you gotta give. They gotta give her something. And she, when you launch her, she is very floaty. She's the featherweight. Yeah. Well, yeah. that means when you launch her, like you can do tremendous juggle damage against her. She's like a, a balloon, literally. She just floats in the air, yeah. and comes down slowly. You get massive damage on her. All right, we got Lisa. Yeah. Quill going with Lisa. Okay. Interesting matchup because Lisa is not a very fast character. Mm -mm. And uh, with Alpha being one of the fastest characters, it'll be an interesting way uh, to see how he pulls this off, if he pulls it off. Alright, so Quiggle down about 50% health. Hollow already starting off pretty strong. Coming in with a quick guard break. Oh, comes in with the slap. The disrespect is real. Kick, kick. Tries to go for the oh, sit-down stun. If that would have landed, it would have been a guaranteed critical burst. Absolutely. But he's still going to get big damage here. He yeah. held. And because of holding, he lost an additional 50% yes. nice health off of that, off his, off his life. Oh, that was oh. Oh, okay. I think what I'm seeing is Hollow trying to adjust to the match right now. Oh, and that move right there is safe. Yeah. Super safe. You can't punish Negative that. Negative five. Super safe. So he could do it again <laughs> if he wants to. But he's still at this advantage, though. Wow. He got, he got that one hit in. Wow. He jumped over. He ended up teleporting behind him. I guess the offensive hold dropped him the ground. Again, no get up kick so he can put the pressure on him. Slap. Another stun. Now he's just mixing up, playing the stun game really well. Nice combo. He was able to take advantage of the fact that she's light. Misses uh, that completely. Yeah. He was slightly slower. Like, he could have he done something, but he, he was slow. Okay, all those, oh, oh, he was he going for, the big go one. for that big damage. Yep. Yeah. Had that thrown had land right there, it would have. that would have been a wrap. That would have yeah. been, been it. Oh, nice. Hollow gets a low throw. Quiggle again. Low on health. But we've seen him come back the last two rounds. Oh, nice. Whiff in the wake up kick. Yeah, good whiff punishment. And whiff, whiff punishment. That's right. Ooh, sidesteps. Okay, no get up kick. What's he gonna do? Oh, oh nice. goes for the offensive hold, but he ducks it. Oh, the splash guarantees a hit. Is this game? Oh, I think he missed. Oh, he, he used the wrong move. He did the wrong, <laughs> he did the wrong move. He could have just easily done something else and just finished the juggle. But because of that, that gives Hollow life, and this could be his uh, moment to shine. Knocks him straight into the wall. That was a big knockback. Yeah. There we go. Yep, that uppercut there. He crushes hard, and that's on safe on block. Quiggle knew that the mid punch was coming. Gets drop kicked into the face. And, this, and a slap into oh. the splash. Oh, that was ballsy. I, I love know he that. Here we go. That Down punch. Nice. Two, 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 low sweep. Frame. Oh, misses the first low sweep. Quiggle took advantage of that. Held the second low sweep. Oh, Unbelievable. Nice. Yep, that, that elbow. Into the flash That's kick. Safe. Yep. <laughs> oh, he interrupts him in the yep. middle of the air. Low sweep. He baited the low. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, snap. very nice. Oh, my God. That was so good. That was the reaction. Almost had that really strong. Oh, the guaranteed game. critical burst. Yeah, have it comes power Does he have a juggle for her? Yeah. Oh, oh my he, goodness, what happened there? I guess he's not used to doing featherweight. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Or maybe he wanted the knockback into the uh Possibly dot explosion. That's true. Whatever. <laughs> that makes you bounce. But he looked like he could have done another backflip kick. Yeah. He done one more and another backflip kick. And yeah, I think balls. I think I think he thought he could have like um because you know how some moves like will send you straight into the wall at mid-range. I think that's what he was going for. Yeah. But it was a close set. Hollow was trying to make a comeback. He almost did. He almost did. He was getting into his groove. And uh, I thought he was going to actually pull it off that time, but he didn't. Um, oh, nice parry. Oh. There you go. Gets the bounce. Takes about 40% health. Blocks the low. Very good stuff. Biggle. Nice hold. Hits a back turn into the low, the low hit. Gets a guaranteed stun off of that. Splash. Gets hit by the splash. Oh, slap. He's getting that slap a lot. Oh, I want to figure something out here. He doesn't want to lose his dash. Ooh, got sat down. Come on, Hollow. What's going to happen here? Nice. <laughs> oh, oh, he went for the fourth time. Oh, nice. I'm surprised Quiggle got hit with that. Okay, now what's Quiggle going to do? All right, oh, okay. just, that's all he needs. Wow. Quiggle just needs that, that one stun. He can get something oh. to the wall. Ooh, this could be bad. Nice. Environment. 
extremely important. Absolutely. The environment in the stage is really cool because you have the bouncy balls and you also have the wall that if you hit twice, you automatically get launched into the into the air. This is going to take big damage, about 30%. One of the strongest, if not the strongest throw in the game. Yeah. Oh, Tries to go for it again. Oh, gets the stab in. Okay. Oh, it's nice. He tried to do it. Yeah, I think Quiggle realized that he was baiting them to try to hold. It didn't work out for him. And he, he knocked them out of it. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't cool. kill. Bigel can come back right here. Oh, got hit by the low. Bigel gets hit while he was back turned. He ends up going all the way to the wall. Doesn't make it a kick. Yeah, Bigel trying to trying him away. Oh, he got caught, caught with that. I think Bigel thought he was going to go low, so he tried to guard low for a quick second. And then he went straight into the throw. Caught him. Nice up. launch into the bouncy ball. Yep. Oh, oh wow, he just stopped for some reason. I'm not sure if he was trying to set something else up, but going into the bouncy balls would have been a lot that, better. That would have killed him. Yep. I wonder if Hollow's going to pay huge for that. Oh, looks like oh. Oh, oh very God. nice. I, I love to do that too. Like, I love to wait and then just pop my the late, late Fang's three people's cave. That's yeah. the same thing he did there. He just waited. Uh, what's, what's the input? 7k, seven, seven right? Yeah, it's just 7k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. But hers is a lot safer. Oh, su and super fast. It's like oh, yeah. 12 frames or 11 Oh, frames. yeah. Mm -hmm. Crushes highs and uh, a couple of mids too, right? It crushes uh, the up back kick? Yeah. No, no, it usually just crushes low, usually. Oh, okay. Switch to Rachel. This will be interesting. So this is a heavy character. Rachel is a very heavy character, obviously, from the Ninja Gaiden franchise. Um, but she's really a strong, she's a strong competitor. You just got to be careful when getting hit by her throws like that. Because she can reset you, throw you into the ground, catch you in the air, yep. and get big damage like this. Damage. She has a really good side step as well. For Alpha, it'll be hard to juggle as well. She's just a heavy character. She drops to the ground faster. Loses the first round. Wiggle. Up one round. Oh, oh nice wow. intro. Yep, that, that speed. So good. And he also read the delay too, so that was really good. Gets a slap in. Oh, nice high punch hold. What are we gonna do here? Now by punch, full kick. Oh, gets that quick hit. Oh, Unbelievable. Nice. Into the mouthwash. That bloody red ball right there. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh nice. wow, he goes into the offensive hold. This might kill actually. Think so? Gets him with the noogies. Yeah, it will. Yep. Wow. Really good. 1-1. One, one. Into the wall. That wall, once you hit it the second time, you will go down. So if they hit that wall again, Ooh, they're going over. Oh, yeah, I forgot you have that back turn. It's eight frames. Yeah, it's really fast. Eight super frames. fast. It is so fast. Oh, oh I would do it again. Wow. He was able to hold that. I didn't think he was going to hold Had he not held that, it would have been a wrap right It would have been. Try to go for the mix-up here. Hollow. Oh. Careful. Oh, oh very wow. nice. Very He's nice. been getting away with that kick every single time. It's so good. And it was <laughs> like he tried to go for an offensive hold. It avoided that. Yeah. So good. Because he's considered airborne. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is. So it automatically just avoids it. Trying to stun game here. The launch. He's going to go for the throw. No, he wants that wall. Keep him cornered. Oh, nice stuff. Ooh. Tries to interrupt. Ends up paying heavily for that. What's going to happen here? There you go. Yeah. Delaying your strength is really good in catching your opponent on counter hits. Absolutely. It's really good. It's an easy way to go into the critical stun system so you can start using you know, the mix-up for the throw or the mix-up for the launch. Here we go. Wiggle. Oh, I thought he was going to get him in the corner, but he, he oh. turns around the other way. I didn't think that was going to happen. So now he has Quiggle on the, against the wall. Delay. Oh, oh my look goodness. At the damn, look, look, look the at the damage bloody is red bar. Oh my god, that is so 50 good. 50 percent con. In an instant, Hollow, Hollow just got back in the back. game. He have to stay back. Oh no! Yeah, he just needs to stay back at this point. Oh. No. He Unbelievable! He beat Quiggle again. He has done this before. So today he beat Xcow and Quiggle. Our yes. two U.S. killers. Yeah. That's incredible. See, don't sleep on this man. He's so good. It looks like uh, I think Black Moon. You might be up next. Oh yes. Yep, that's me. All right. All right. We'll catch up with you later, brother. All right, everyone. So I got Hoodless coming up to the stage here, or to the commentating booth. Hoodless, how you doing, brother? 
Welcome. Hello. Hello. What's up? What's up, man? He's doing good. I saw your match, man. Really good match. It was close. Close. Nail about it right there. Yeah. But you came through. Interesting. Interesting. Rakuto, obviously a really, really good player. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was, it's, it's interesting to see how these matches are playing out. A couple of upsets here and there. Mm -hmm. I thought about it like um, I can say like he's been playing Leon the whole tournament. Oh, okay. So that's he, he contemplating it from I should play Bayman or Leon. Uh -huh. So his guess is you want to be his mind, want to be blank, so he's going to pick Bayman. Right. Like, oh, okay. I see, I so see. So I had to adjust that. No, but it, it looks like you adjusted well. At first, it looks like he was trying to get his rhythm, too. Yeah. It looked like he was kind of struggling to kind of get the momentum going. He finally kind of got it going, got a couple of rounds, and ended up getting the match. And then at the end, it seems like you readjusted, mm -hmm. and uh, you ended up closing out the, that match. So the only thing I was worrying about was the parry. That gotcha. was the only thing I was worrying about. And this match was interesting. Quiggle versus yeah. Hollow. Yeah. Hollow came through. Even though Hollow has really good reads, even when he's in a really tough situation. He'll be in a tough situation, and he'll either do the flash kick, or he'll just do like an evasive move, right. and it comes back. Because sometimes he'll have his, when you look back at these replays, you'll see him with his back to the wall, where he can't go anywhere. Right. He really can't yeah. go anywhere. But he still gets the good reads and still ends up coming up on top. So that's really interesting to see. I like I like the day when he really adjusted, because um, we really, for Alpha, he really needed him to do a, Stun him and just guess mm -hmm. from the three bursts he yeah. Alpha has. Yeah. Not going from the ha the Hail Mary right mm -hmm. grab. Is the or the, do or die situation because he didn't see him hold at all. So right. At the last match, like it was do or die. Yeah. You're gonna hold or or you're gonna get hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? You gotta figure it out. Yes. Okay. So I like I like this match right here, but Lee Fang got the don't have the range at all. So Lisa gonna be move, moving around and get out the range and get in and out. Right. Yeah. Um, Lei Fang obviously uh, doesn't have much range, like you said. Um, gonna struggle a little bit, but with Lisa, you know, Lisa can yeah. play the game a little bit with the range game. Right. Okay. Oh, he thought it's he was gonna time. go for the low. Okay, to the shoulder. To the wall. Okay, good damage right there. Nice. He thought he was gonna parry. He did right. a safe move into a parry. It's a very common thing with Lei Fangs for some reason. To throw a save move out and then do a parry. So uh, his gang, gruff gang plan is like he because he burns our shoulder because that's black moon button. Yeah. So he really want to stay off the range of the string, off the string. So don't have to get that shoulder in or try. Oh, I'm gonna guess to do parry if you hit a button. Right. Took big damage right there. Black moon took like 70% right there in the last five seconds. So around the piece. Okay. Rough with punishment. That's what's gonna punish there. There you go. Let's go back there again. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't hold the mid kick. That could have been really bad for uh, Gruff there. So let's go again. Good damage. There, got, there the it is. Good hold. That's good what I was talking about. To the wall. It should be a kick. No, okay. Just a little bit left. Try to go for the ground game. Good side step. That was a good side step there. Okay. Oh, nice. With the booty bump. Here we go. Okay. Bounces him. Wall. All right, a little set launcher. Up. Okay, get to the guarantee. If you want to mix up. Oh, he's mixing up again. He got him out of the stun originally. He went back into the stun. Oh, oh. offensive hold. What's going to happen here? He has to figure it out. The stomp. Okay, to the kick. Okay. Oh, he thought he was available. He wasn't. Okay, okay oh. the shoulder. What would I kill? Yes. That's a kill. Oh. Wow, right. two a piece. So Gruff is understanding. I, I was playing with Gruff a lot uh, yesterday, actually, just to see how where his mind was at. Uh -huh. And it seemed like he was just struggling to just get a couple of launches in real quick. But now he's, I think he's getting it now. He understands that he needs to get his damage and get out. Sure. Yeah, that's, that's how Lisa plays. That's how Lisa plays. You need to get in and get out. So she's going under the like crushes. And all the guard base to get in and get in out. Nice. Like with, that. Punishment. That was a with punishment. Yo, Gruff is stealing himself right now. He could be okay. taking oh, out this match. Good crush. Unbelievable. Good crush. Good crush. Wow. Gruff is playing incredibly well right now. Will he be able to close it out against Black Moon? Um, and of course, Black Moon will now be switching characters. He's always stayed so with Lake Fang. So Gruff is gonna, Gruff's feeling himself. So I don't know how the momentum gonna be for Black Moon to, to overcome this. Yeah. Well, he's already starting strong with the first hit. The fact, the fact that he get the first hit and already set the, the tone. All right, then he's starting up. He goes to the wall. Okay. What's the setup from the half wall? Okay. To the offensive hold. Into the wall. What's Gruff gonna do right here? This launches. 
He's getting his damage in. Gets hit in the backflip. He guesses oh. wrong, goes into the Zalaki. And Black Moon will take that round for now. It went a lot, there was a lot of back and forth in that round, though. Yes, it was. Okay. Okay, nice. Goes into the launch. Didn't get big damage here. It was high counter blow. Takes about 50% okay. health. Check. Is any tech up? Tech up. Goes into a low sweep. Nice high step. Tries to go for a throw. Gets hit by the shoulder and gets graded like Black Moon. He's trying to set the tone now. He's trying to get his momentum going. Low sweep. Double low sweep. Doesn't counter the second one. All right. Ooh. Now, with the loss of momentum, what do you think Guelph needs to do at this point? He needs to slow down because he's going to try to go in and out. He's trying to go in. Because he, Black Moon is pushing him to the wall. So that's what he wants. He jumps angles to the wall so he can keep him there. All right. Can he break any of this? He break it. Now he's going to be a stomp or no? <laughs> he, got fan, he got fans out there. No Carolina fans there. This is home field advantage here. Alright, he went straight to the match. Really next match. Right, no switching characters, nothing, no, no wait time. He goes from straight to the next uh, match. One of one and one apiece. Go with punish there. He got put he got stuck pushing the button there. I'm not sure what he was trying to do. So uh, he he needed slow to get that low. So he getting free hits out there. He getting free hits there. He didn't break it, he to the wall. To the okay. wall, here we go. Nice. It's the mix up now. Backs up. Smart. Smart man to do. Oh he parries. That Harry's was interesting that he parried. He didn't have to parry. He could have just done the naked right. hold and just gotten the easy win. But he didn't do it. Hits him. Gonna knock him off the wall. Oh. I mean, off the cliff. Yes, he, he does. Okay, now we're on water. We got knocked down. Can I tap him up again? So block. Oh, he tries to go for the uh, throw. A little bit of kill. No, it's not good. Oh, wait. He got whipped. You gotta, you gotta be careful doing moves across the screen like that. He's been told about that. You can't be doing moves across the screen. It doesn't help you in any way. It just leaves you open. Alright. Go punish there. Go oh. break. Get a neutral throw. Oh, wow. Wow, the evasiveness of Lei Fang right yes. now, son. Here we go. To the oh, game. it should be a guaranteed move. Oh, oh it okay. doesn't get the bounce. Rough. With a comeback, we got X Factor. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. She did the back punch. She's trying to get it out of there. Yeah. That was a good match there. Very good match. So Gruff is elim eliminated from the tournament. Black Moon will move on. Move on in the bracket. Our next match is, uh, let me see. Uh, what did I say? Excalibur Blades. Uh, Excalibur Blades and versus, uh, KP, uh, KP Savage. Yeah. Who do you think KP Savage is going to use? He thinking, um, he said he will play bass. Okay. He will play bass. That will be good. I like his bass. I know what about Excalibur Blades? He uses know. a lot of I characters. Too many characters, so I don't know. He probably do a mirror match. Yeah, maybe. Maybe or probably just lay Alpha the whole time. Just play Alpha. Alpha? Yeah. He did play Alpha against Hollow. So we'll see what he goes with right now. Here at TFC 2017. The last qualifier of the Battle Royale for Dead or Alive. You're gonna be at NEC, right? Yes, I'll be there. Yeah, NEC. I mean, that's the place to be. There'll be international I'll players. Make sure I'm gonna say I'll, tr there. I'll try to. I'll <laughs> say that. I'll try to. I'll try to get there. Now you're gonna be there. You gotta be there. <laughs> you, got, you gotta be there because you're gonna win this one, right? You're gonna win this one. Hopefully, I will. Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> I will then. See, I, I gotta play Hollow. I gotta play Hollow and Grant and uh, win this final. So, absolutely, absolutely. I gotta, I gotta check out because it's Alpha. Y'all yeah. know. I have to really guess. There's three verses coming at me, yep. so either or, or but if you just wrong. if you can just knock them down with the sweep or anything, that's yeah. that's when you bring it back. That's, that's when you bring it back. So it'll be an interesting match. Um, for those of you guys just watching from home, um, expecting, expecting, thank you guys for watching, sharing, um, having uh, some chats in the stream, and of course, for those of you guys just picking up the game for the first time, we've reached 10 million downloads on the Dead or Life Five last round that's core fighter. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's a good yeah. thing. Man. Which means there's still a lot of players out there uh, just testing the game, testing the water for the first time. For those of you guys just learning the game, uh, we've been putting together videos for the community for everyone to see and kind of learn the, the system, uh, showing some features like uh, the triangle system as well as the stun system that just came out. Definitely check them out. You know, maybe it'll help you level up your game. And of course, it'll continue to get deeper as we keep moving forward. And hopefully that'll help everybody uh, learn the game and talk about the game a little more. So I'll do it nice. all for, for you guys. Oh, I think uh, Alpha will change the music. I think the X Kelly is gonna change some music right here for his character, bro. He wants custom music. He changes the main menu too. Jeez. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That's what you, I, okay, what you think about if he, he picked Baz and Alpha, then what? If he picked Baz and Alpha, then um, my concentration would be if I was KP. If I was KP, my concentration is I got to just knock her down, period. Right. Just that's if he picks Alpha. No matter what character you are, even if you're a slow character, just knock her down and make my life a lot easier. Because when you knock her down and she gets back up, you're, you're, you're essentially the fastest character in the game now. Sure. So if you can just do that, then that would be priority number one, two, and three. After that, then you can decide, okay, am I going to go for a really strong throw? Am I going to go for an offensive hold? Or am I going to go for another just knockdown? Right. Whatever you can do to either keep her knocked down or keep her guessing from the throw. Sure. Now, if I'm Excalibur Blades and I am Alpha, then, you know, obviously I just got to put the pressure. I have a lot, I have all the speed. I can keep him away from me. Okay. You know, and I can keep uh, knocking him knocking no back. But, okay. Alpha. I had a good call. I made a good call here. It's going to be Alpha. See? See KP, KP Savage's face right now. <laughs> He's on the way. Now he's gonna jam Lee. So, I actually, I actually think he would have been better with Bass on this one. Actually, yeah, I believe in that because he getting the da he getting the damage right yeah. there. Yeah, because your exchange with Bass is gonna be much higher than your exchange with Jan Lee. That's the main thing. And since you're gonna put him at some point in a 50-50 mix-up, you might as well win out big. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Start over the PPP kick. Get to the wall. Okay, get to the wall now. Here we go. Well. Oh, just go for the paint stun. Now he's on the wall. He can't push to the wall. He's getting pushed. Oh, he tries to interrupt, but could not interrupt in time. And Jan Lee's four punch is pretty fast, too. Good nice side step. step. Oh, oh my goodness. I think he got more. He could have got more than that. Keep it on the back turn and just yeah. launch. Oh, he's too scared to push a button right now. He's getting uh, intimidated by the throw. Okay, go block at the block the flag. Here we go. Knock him down. Okay, go hold. Could have gotten a little more off of that. Good. Something across the string. Oh, he's slow escape though. He's slow escape though. Nice high punch hold. Okay, think about it. Oh! I shouldn't. It should not be a kill. It's not gonna be a kill. It's not gonna be a kill. Get up with the nookies. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh my god! Okay. That last one. That's a killer. Here we go. Try to play the streets. Comes in with the low speed. Got the four kick. Got for the grab again. Yep. I haven't seen him bring out the dragon gunner not once yet. I think he's probably scared. I think he's probably scared he's gonna react. Oh, it's on high count. Oh, it's on high counter now. Big damage right yes. there off the high counter one. What's the mix up? Oh, oh, okay. Now you can start your mix up. Now you gotta start your mix up. Oh, okay. Now you got better neutral. Oh, you gotta grab yeah. it. Yeah. Excalibur Blades, he will show the disrespect on the screen every time. He'll do the move three times if he has to. You have to get him out of the mentality of like, you know, I'm gonna keep doing it, so you gotta knock him out. The only thing, about, only thing I gotta see is uh, oh, he going back to bad. Yep. He should have. This should have been in his first two, regardless. Yep. Should have kept it on to it. But he gonna, he really need a tick throw him, basically. Yeah. He need a tick. Okay. And then you're in this and stage. And we in danger zone. Uh, hopefully right. he has. Well, hopefully he has combos. Both for though. Hopefully and, he got. It. And on top of that, um, hopefully he just gets a knockdown. Go. He got the knockdown. He was heavy. Yeah, he's heavy. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He just stuck there. He could have had that stun. He took advantage of it. Done something with it. Yes, after. KP Savage. KP Savage needs to make Excalibur Blades hold. He needs to hit him with whatever you can, just to knock him down. Because if not, this is what's gonna happen. Danger Zone is a really, really dangerous stage. Obviously, because of the extra bounce that you get off the cliff. Nice. Oh, oh. hit him! Hit him! You gotta hit him. No matter what, you gotta hit Plus, him. Plus, all right, there we go. That's all. Down. Here we go. And after that, he'll have the advantage again. He wasn't moving. He couldn't move. He wasn't moving. Yeah. I think he wasn't moving. All right. They're spacing each other out. Keep this space. You need to keep that space because he got help. Nice. He has help. Nice block. And so th so throw. Oh, oh he tried a big flip. He tried to do the kick flip. <laughs> that was a good one there. So you just got to knock him down. You didn't even have to do a jump. Oh. You just got to okay. knock him down. That's guaranteed there. He's getting thrown. Off the cliff. Almost. Oh, not yet. Okay, you can just stay keep back. It, keep this space right here. Go back to neutral. Nice. Hit him again. Good punish there. Albert bringing in that speed now. Into oh. the critical burst. Launches him into the air. 
Big juggle. Oh, nice. Ooh, okay. He stopped it nice. a little short, just a little bit so he can get that extra damage. That was a really smart move from Excalibur Blades right there. Kind of trick. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, hey. He has the advantage. Oh. Okay. Nice. It was a nice little strategy from KP Savage. He didn't really have to do the low throw, though. I mean, I guess he, was he might lay there, but... This is going to be huge damage for, for Excalibur Blades. You can see what kind of juggle he has with his heavyweight again. Any combo, any combo, right? There you go. Go back to neutral. There's the hit. Why is he scared? He can't be scared. If you have the stun, they gotta be scared of you. That's how it works. That's true. I think he's hesitating the whole time because yesterday he did he did the same thing. So Waiting from the hole or really doing anything. Right. But not to mention that he, 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 what do you call it, uh, Alpha can't hold you anyway, so it's not like something's gonna be held and you're gonna lose damage. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh, that's, that's a death. wrap. That's death. That's death. That's death there now. For sure, that's a wrap. That. To that. There'd be no way to lose it <laughs> unless you drop the string. <laughs> <laughs> Those good matches. KP had the right mentality for a while, but then he got, he started hesitating again. I'm not sure why he started hesitating. He needed to get that momentum going. Keep it moving forward and not be scared when you stun somebody. Whenever you stun somebody in this game, it's understood that you can hold out of it or maybe stagger skip out of it. Right. But the still fact is you still have the advantage, advantage. and they have to respect that. That's true. And you got to make them respect that. And if you can't make them respect that, you're going to have an uphill battle every time, no matter which player you're fighting against. That's true, sir. That's true, sir. I don't know what the next match is. I don't know if they're going to do uh, winner's finals first or are they going to go through losers. Gotcha. Mr. Quiggle, Quiggle, Mr. Quiggle versus Black Moon Rising. Oh, okay. Looks like it's going to be the next match. Okay. Well, Quiggle got so many characters because we saw Lisa already and yep. Rachel. Yep. So, what's going to be I think Black pick? Moon's going Alpha. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's this Quiggle's going to pick now? Quiggle against Black Moon? Uh, that'll be interesting. Um, he'll probably go phase, I'm thinking. I think he'll just stick with phase and then uh, try to do that. But he, said, he has said he's getting kind of tired of phase, so I don't know if he will, oh. but... Uh, I think he would probably end up going with FaZe. So, we, um, hmm, like I say, like, uh, Mo Black Moon Rising gonna like to do the shoulder. Yeah. Like to do doing certain strings. Yeah. So, Quick gonna be looking out for it. Right. And, um, is it or he gonna hit a button or parry because that's the only thing in the situation because I, I'm seeing that after, um, Black Moon Rising do do the string. Yeah. What's that string? Six PP. Three PPPP. Pee -pee -pee -pee, whatever. It's minus seven. So mostly he going to randomly throw. He's trying to guess a throw. It's really going to happen. Is it or if he checks and sees that uh, oh, he punishing me, then um, what are he going to do? Because I can shoulder it, shoulder right. or hit a button. That's what he's wondering for because when I was playing him before, I usually used to throw him every time because I'm seeing and stop one time. I just stopped and didn't punish him. He just threw like, oh, I just out of the blue. Yeah, out of the blue from that string. It's like, oh, he really tried to guess, try to yeah. guess this to throw. So he really needs to see that and check, it, check it, basically. And Black Moon will need to also keep in mind that you can't go into those um those habits of trying to do safe move into like a parry or something like that also, or into the shoulder. It's kind of like a. It's more of a panic situation. Yeah. And if you're doing panic moves like that, that can be that can be your downfall down the road of the match. Maybe you get away with it at first, mm -hmm. and it may work for you. But as the pro the match progresses, it can end up killing you because the other players adjusting to your playstyle. And then if you don't have a plan B or even a plan C for that, mm -hmm. then you're just gonna fall down because you're like, oh, this this thing is not working. I gotta question my whole playstyle now. I think it's a real match here. Yeah. Okay. So Quiggle went with phase four. We were saying that he might shoot, that he might be going with phase four. Right. It's a nice stun. It's a teleport. Done. Wow, drops that one. Getting stunned. Okay, good hold. Good advance hold from Black Moon. Into the low sweep. Into the throw. Okay. Into another low sweep. See, he tried to go to the shoulder right there. Oh, good hold. Oh, he goes for the parry. Breaks the throw, though. Oh, nice. The I range like of that. that. I like that. I like that. Now, he conditioned him to block every time or hold that. See what's going to happen right after. That was interesting. She like avoided the high with parry. There you go. Nice combo coming out of a quick, out of quibble. High step kick. Very fast kick. Okay. 
Oh, nice. Advance. Nice. Advance the hold. Advance the hold. To the shoulder. Oh, he's getting a lot of single oh, hits in. Oh, Lord. All right, Quigo has the life lead here. 25 seconds on the clock. Quigo can just play it safe, but most likely oh, he'll go okay. in. Oh, interrupt. my oh, goodness. Will that be a kill? It should be a kill. He goes to the wall. Yep. Right. Oh, my God. The damage on that move right there. I like that. All right. Do not get Mickey oh. held by freaking Lane Fang, because that'll be death. He up two. He up two now. Quigo got to change his momentum now. He got to change the momentum now. Oh, he could've just blocked that and punished that. He gets hit by Quiggle. I think big damage here. No, okay, go to the wall. Almost, almost, though. No. Could've broke that table, could've been more damage. Super launch a throw. Oh, he's still Not alive. Not death yet. Not death yet. He thought he was gonna go low. He thought he was gonna go low. <laughs> You're right. All right, Black Moon obviously has the, the round lead, so he needs to take advantage of that. Get stunned. Get and guess right. Oh. Oh, he didn't go into the teleportation. I wonder why he didn't do that. Maybe he just didn't hit that time. To... Wow. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, he panicked. He panicked. He threw the shoulder in. Oh, into the kick. He playing the stun game. Good hold from Quiggo. Nice throw. What's going to happen here? Backs up a little bit. Wow, does should go for the charge attack. Gets hit by the second hit of the Oh. Shrink. Super launcher. That should be death. Right there, Quiggle waited because he did the Sabaki, so he closed that window so he can start to get the hit. Start to the elbow. Almost hit the table. He was trying to go for the table, I'm sure. But it doesn't get uh, the angle. Okay. Right. Stun. Free stun. Free launch. Good damage, man. Oh, oh offensive hold. hold. He can't break it. All right. Oh, my God. That was huge damage. He can close this out now. Oh, to the parry. Oh, wrong oh wow. He, did he got the wrong combo. Now we got to... You gotta space this out, man. He had to space this out. Black Moon, we was we were having the same discussion earlier. Black Moon can actually just back up and not take any risks. So as long as he does that, he would be all right. That's safe. Oh, oh my God! You saw that? You see, did you see that? Yes. Did you say that? <laughs> you'll, you'll never see that happen again. You'll never see it hold happen on. again. Hold on. You try to hold. He did a safe move into a hold because he thought he was gonna attack him with the hold, right. and then he still did the low hold back turn. Right. He got free step. He yeah. got free step to a. Free hit. You got a free hit out of it. Let me see it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going with Christy. He fang can kill Christy because the strength she does. Because she only thing she can do is Sabaki. Yeah. Kill mid and high. Kill those both situations. Yeah. Now. So many, punches, so many punches as well. Yeah. So now Quigga got to play. Got to really got to play it smart. If you want to stun launch or just stun and wait, or wait for the parry. Right. Now for um, he definitely has the speed though. Yeah. So the speed is there. That's one parry right there. Okay. Yeah, he's being, he's trying to see if he can see a, a parry come out so he can take advantage of it with the control. One stun. Good shoulder. Oh, he doesn't block the second one. The pressure. He's trying to put that pressure on him. Pickle's trying to make sure he gets that pressure. Okay, on him. he got pushed off. But Black Moon. Pushing it back, right back. Okay. Get hit. Oh, go hold from there. It. He wanted to go burst. Oh my ah. goodness! He gambled it all right he there. For that. He should have. He should have stepped as soon as he noticed that he wasn't doing anything. Because he was waiting for the animation to come out so he can hold it. And anytime you hold any of that, it's automatically high counter. Okay. So Here we go. Knocks him to the floor. Four punch. Oh, nice parry. Low sweep. Oh, here we go. Sit What's down, mix up. Okay, he goes to launch the launch. Yep. Get another safe move into a parry. Good damage there. Tries to do the ground kick just to finish off the round, but it doesn't finish it off. A little black moon just Ooh. ran up and got hit by the. Gets kicked in the mouth. Ooh. Black moon with the low. It's a low sweep. Double sidestep. Sabaki. Sabaki is hit. I think he tried to hold a critical burst. That was the only thing he tried to hold for. That was a really big whip, too. Oh. oh my god. Okay, he's he's doing too much of that right now. He's doing too much of that. And uh, Quiggle's starting to adapt to it. And it's noticing. Okay. Which is bad, because now Black Moon might start questioning his whole strategy. Oh, he... Good wow. hold. Good hold there. Kill the strength. Oh, One. Does it break That's it? a kill. This should be a kill. Wow. Oh. Almost. He has the advantage. Got to back up. 
That would be the smart thing to do. Do not go. But if Quiggle gets one stun, he's going to eliminate him for sure right here. He's going to take him out. I think back kick going to happen if yeah. he runs up. Yeah. He's going to do back kick if he runs up. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, oh. he ran for it. He ran for it. Okay. Get ready, fight. Are you about the low? All right. He's trying to hit him with the low. He's trying to condition him oh. a little bit. Here we go. Launch. Oh, he's trying to go for the ground game. Okay. Okay. Quiggle. Quiggle's starting to get hit by a couple things now. Okay, to the shoulder. That was a semi-safe move there. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready for it. So. Took a low sweep. Oh. Breaks the throw. Good block. Wow. Good. Really good defense out of Black Moon right now. He can play this right now. He can actually take him out if he plays it correctly, but Quiggle's not going to make it any easy. You don't need to move with moves now. Yep. He has your life lead right there. He could have punished. Wow, he didn't hold it low. I'm surprised. All right. Game point from Black Moon. I wonder if uh, he wasn't ready. I guess that he would finish the string, possibly. Oh, he could have punished that, but Wait. it took too long. Oh, shoulder. shoulder. All right. Quiggle could be going to the loser's bracket. To the launch. Big damage, 10 hit combo. Takes about 30, 30 to 40 percent health off of Black Moon. Black Moon needs to readjust again. Good block. Not sure why he held low. I don't think there's anything coming up low after that. Yeah, it is a low. That low punch. Oh, okay, not, I thought it was done. the end of the string. Yeah, that's done. Is that it? That's not kill. That's not kill yet. Oh my okay. god. All right. Oh okay. my goodness. Oh. We got X Factor. What's gonna happen here? Oh. oh. I got hit. What would have been interesting though is if he got the low hit, the low get up kick. Let's just assume he held the low kick, okay. and it was an advanced one. He would have been just like a sliver left. Now he would have done a really good comeback, and he would have just had a little sliver left to hit Quickle to win that match. Because I, I'm a believer that if you're playing Lei Fang and you're dealing with get up kicks, you might as well just go for the advanced okay. one every time. All right, Danger Zone, the last match. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Danger Zone, obviously, you can lose a lot of health instantly. He like that. He got it. He got his damage. About 50 percent, almost 50 percent. Oh my god! Again! Oh my uh, god! He missed the juggle. This is do off. or die now. This is do or die match. This is do or die match now. Yeah. Everything He's is gonna be interesting because now you're put in a situation where you might have to hold all the time where you normally wouldn't. Oh, he tried to sass them. Good sass them. Gets hit by the low. Go block from the low. There you go. Oh, oh my god! You saw this? Oh lord! <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Oh, nice high punch hold from Quiggle. Quiggle finishes the whole string. Oh, tries to go for the high launch, but misses oh. it. What's gonna happen here? Wow, he gets behind him? Oh! The shoulder, what's gonna happen here? Okay. He tries to go for the offensive hold. What's gonna happen here? Oh! He hesitated a lot. Well, actually, they were both hesitating right there, to be honest with you. <laughs> they are That's not done. trying to get hit. That's, That's it. That's done? Okay. He's going off. He's going about now. to get big damage here. Quiggle got some really good combos right here. Let's see what he does. Oh, oh my the god! He dropped the combo. Dropped the combo. Quiggle's gonna look back at this video right now. He's gonna be like, I can't believe that just happened. Okay. Okay, Black Moon. Trying to get some momentum going. Nah. On the ground. Oh, he's trying to rope. Oh, you gotta tech that. You gotta, you gotta tech, tech that. that. Yeah, if you don't tech that, you automatically get bounced. You automatically get bounced. You gotta tech that. Here we go. Black Moon has it back to the wall. Nice carry. Here we go. Get away from the wall. He's gonna angle up to the wall. Alright, now he's over there on the other side. You try to sidestep. You try to get out. I use the stance to get out. He yeah, re he's, he's, he's rearranging himself again, though. Quiggle is really good at using his environment. Now it's game point for both. Ten for both. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Last round, last piece. Okay. Start with the stun. Oh, we interrupted. It. Interrupted the move. Side step. Couldn't get him angled the he's other the way. Grain. Oh, interrupt. Oh, I'm not sure why he thought he can attack right there. He can't, but it's a wrap right here. Oh, no, it's not? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, wow. it is. <laughs> With mid-step in the air. This is it? Is he going to drop it again? No, he waited this time. <laughs> <laughs> he waited this time. He's like, nah, nah, I'm not going to drop it this time. That was a really good match between Black Moon Rising and Quiggle. Man. You didn't know who was going to have it at that match, man. Right there at the end, it's like, who's going to have the better juggle? Who's going to rearrange themselves? Who's going to take advantage of the environment? That's what DOA is all about, yes. making sure that you that you strategize around your arena and that you make your opponent pay uh, the greatest the greatest uh, punishment that you can get them in. I feel like that match, that last match, 
dangerous zone. With <laughs> you got to change your whole mindset. Yeah, absolutely. You have to change your whole mindset. And that. you and you got to have a strategy for that map. Wow. Obviously, you can have strategies for several maps, but that particular map, you obviously want to make sure you're aware of where you're at. Are you in the green area? Are you in the blue area? Are you going to come off the cliff? What's your combo? What's your combo for an open area? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to make adjustments. And then that whole thing about him not teching, maybe he just forgot or maybe he wasn't aware. Like but he, was, he probably wasn't aware. Yeah, you got to tech that, even though you're still going to lose damage, believe it or not. You still lose damage anyway, but at least if you tech, you don't get bounced like that. And I think he was uh, caught off guard with that. But Quiggle played incredible, like he always does, and he was able to close it off at the end. It was a really good match. I like how he positioned himself. Quiggle has always been really good. I like really that good. because like, he really tried to set stuff off the wall so he can be in the middle to push him off. Right, like, right. And that's something you got to take into account. That's a whole new level of strategy and that are alive that's that you don't really see anywhere else it's like you know taking account to where you are so the next match is SKL versus Rakuto. Rakuto. so this was actually the grand finals for NEC yes it was this is what happened Rakuto was victorious obviously um, but what do you think is gonna happen here I can say this are we gonna see Elliot or Helena or what I believe uh, Elena because he Rakuto hates Elena yeah Rakuto hates Elena he hates that matchup regardless. He probably picked that situation, or he probably picked Ellie. Okay. Or Alpha, it depends. Mm, uh, it depends. It depends on if if he's playing Bayman. That's it. If he I, go, if he goes with, if he goes with Alpha, I don't think that would really work in his favor. That's just me personally. I don't think it's because Bayman has so many ways to put out damage. And if you're gonna lose an exchange every time you get up, I'll go to Rachel. Oh, okay. Heavy and Leon. Heavyweight time. That's heavyweight time. Yep. So Rachel and Leon. Leon obviously has pretty good string mix up because he can get a stun off of either the mids or the lows. So he uh, has to take that into account. And Rachel obviously can uh, always ground bounce you. She just has really good throw mix up as well. And the ground and the, and the ground stop. So in this so in this match, he Rakuda got to start his momentum. He has to start his momentum. Here we go. He start going. He can start going. There he is. He's using the strings. Yeah, start going now. Okay. Go hold on caliber. The 2P is plus one, so. System down. Okay. Gonna have it. Getting thrown. All right. He's going to run up. Big damage right there. That's like 50% health, just like that. Goes for the reset. Good. Good block on him. On his part. Rakuto taking the first round pretty convincingly for the most part. So launch to the wall. Okay, what's the setup? Plus one. Yeah, plus one after that kick. Plus Putting the pressure again. again. Plus one. He's putting a lot of plus ones on the screen right now. Into the wall. He repositions himself. Oh, okay. Take note of that. He repositions himself and knock him to the wall. Okay. He's gonna he got a gas now. He got a gas now. Oh. Okay. Let this done again. Oh, tries oh, to go for the launch, but too slow. Too slow. He and he staggered. Get ready, fight. Nice side step. Punch. Oh, it's the bait. That was the bait. Just to go for the ground pound. I like that setup. I like that setup. I like that. You go back to neutral. See, so you're gonna see if you hit what? You got his button. All right, you got his hit. Run the throw. Yeah, Rakuda was whipping things. He couldn't. He was recovering, so he went up and did the throw. Oh, on high counter. He's going to take pretty good damage. He recovers after this a little bit, but I don't think Rachel has anything long enough to reach him in time. No. Oh, okay. That was a tick throw there. Okay, what's going to happen here? Nothing. Oh, oh he's ducking. He ducking. Yeah, he was ducking. He got caught ducking. He thought he was going to do something else, maybe down punch into down back punch. Didn't end up that way. Rakuto ended up using that round. Right here, right here, oh, he pretty good stun. He need to stop doing that because he really... Caliber staggering now. Yep. So he's trying, he trying to get a Hail Mary there. He's not staggering at all. You got to put him in a situation where he needs to start holding more often. Yeah. And then he can probably pull that off. Right now, Caliber, right now, putting the pressure on Rakuto against the wall. Go block there. Good try to duck. Oh, yeah. He's going to punish that too, though. Excalibur Blaze takes the first match. Gives him a quick stomp to let him know who's the man right now. But Rakuto um, looks like he's going to stick with um, Leon. Nobody better. Come and fight. All right, here we go. Try to right. grab, so he got to go high down. Gets a guaranteed low throw right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. To the headbutt. Uh. Lunch money. Let's go. All right. 
He went for the Hail Mary again for that. Getting the stunts. Oh, he got, him get away he got to settle from there. He got to settle from there. Oh, he tried to throw. It was on high counter, so. Come down. Oh, he got up and did it. He hit a button. Right. Rikuto needs, Rikuto needs to readjust right here. He's he's lost a lot of like the momentum that he was trying to build up, and right now he's just kind of getting hit by a lot of things. Um, one thing Rikuto does have going for him because of the fact that he won the last tournament, uh, he doesn't necessarily need to win this event to make it uh, have a trip all the way to the grand finals because he already got it for winning the last one. Right. <clears throat> he's not losing a whole lot, but still, I mean, there's still a lot of a lot of stuff on the line, and he can definitely win a little extra cash if he wants to. But right now, he's just getting beat down by just about anything that's on that screen. Nice caliber blades, taking note of that and just putting uh, whatever move he feels like uh, feeling today. All right. Knock down. Oh, he got pushed back. Plus one. Down back punch. Okay. Gets a stun. Oh. Nice caliber. Four stack. Heck, it's a plus, plus one. one. Plus one again. Nice caliber doing a pretty good job of always having okay, the advantage. Don't want, don't want to. Oh, the spear. Oh, wow. Oh, it, it went off accident. And oh, got back turned. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Wow. wow. That was so unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't think he was expecting the hop to just go off really? accident like that. <laughs> it went off accident. Really? Oh, my And of course, S. Caliber Blade took full advantage of that whole situation. So, in losers, we got, we're going to have Quiggle and uh, S. Cap. So. And then Rakuto obviously has been eliminated from this, uh, this event. So. You'll have, uh, you say Quiggle and who? It's gonna be Quiggle and Ascal. Gonna be yeah. fighting each other. And it me and uh, Hollow. Oh, okay. That's the, that's the top one now. That's the top one. I gotta have to play, guys, so I'll see y'all later. All right. Hey, send, send KP. All right. So Hillis is gonna be. Plane. Actually, hold on. Black Moon. <sighs> I see you doing some stuff up there. At least I tried doing some <laughs> stuff up there. Like, I was so close, man. Like, oh, I had it. I you had did. It. You did. We were watching it. I was so close. We were seeing uh, <clears throat> how you were doing. Oh, yeah. I feel like. Really close match, man. I was doing way too many holes, but those were panicles. I just got, I just gotta relax. Yeah, you gotta like, be careful. Doing panicles is something you do not want to do because when your opponent sees that in high level play, they're gonna kill you. Yeah. They're gonna, they know that once you're like, once you feel like staggered or some way like that, they're 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 gonna like just re respond right away with with this type of stun and then keep hit, hitting you and hitting you. Absolutely. And um, and that's what we were talking about when we were watching your match. You were, you were up there, and we're seeing the match going on. You guys are going back and forth, and then we're just looking at you guys and thinking, well, check this out. Look at the positioning here, and that's one thing that he's doing a lot, a lot against a lot of players that a lot of players don't do. Like uh, when he's in danger zone, obviously in danger zone, he was positioning himself with the sidestep as he's trying to hit you, and he's trying to make sure he's not at the edge of the cliff. And he, at the very end, that's where he got you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got to reposition himself. He got you on there, and yeah. you got to take note of that. I know you got hit by that. That um, the the no tech after the crumple stun. Yeah, I forgot that um, it still bounces bon you up. I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I thought I can just chill on the floor. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it bounces me up if I don't tech. You yeah. have to tech. Yeah, you see, have to tech that. Knowledge, see, like knowledge is important, man. Absolutely, absolutely. So we little, saw that little things like that will hurt you in competitive play. Absolutely, and he was ready for it too. You can tell he's like, all right, I got a combo right here, and uh, that's something that yeah, you definitely got to be aware of. Um, we were wondering if you were actually going to tech or not, and when you didn't tech, we're like, oh, I, maybe he just wasn't aware because, yeah, you have yeah, to tech that situation. I forgot that. Yeah, I forgot. <clears throat> yeah, it was a good set. I thought I had it, but he got me good. It was a better play. <sighs> yeah. But we learn from it. We got to learn from it. You don't. We don't yeah. take. We don't take L's for losing. We take L's for learning. For learning yeah. L's for learning. L's for lesson. We learned the lesson today. Tech roll right there. <laughs> tech roll, exactly. Yeah, tech, tech roll right there. Please, tech roll. You're still in a messed up situation, but it's better to tech roll than being launched up there for more damage. Right. So, Hubbis yeah. versus Hollow right here. Oh, yeah, this will be a good match. We got uh, 
Hoodless was very patient, like he likes to keep his cool, like he likes to play like that spacing game. Hollow, he's like the mom rush guy. He has to go in. Once he goes in, it's kind of hard to stop that momentum. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's kind of hard for given his character to keep that momentum going. Oh, yes, yeah. definitely. But once he's knocked down on the floor, all they have to do is rush towards her and press her. There we go. Yep, here we go into this matchup here. Gets a nice stun, gets into the wall right here. We got a nice hit combo. Oh, nice low block from Hollow. That sweep is not slow. Okay, jumps off him. Sits him to the wall. What's gonna happen here? Down four punch, punch, punch. Now we're doing the punch, kick, kick, kick. Into the down kick, kick, kick. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So, when you're noticing an opponent that barely hold, Stun launcher. Yeah, you have to. Because you got to put them in those situations where it makes them want to hold. So you can open it up a little bit. Alright, he backs up a little bit. They both about the same uh, amount of health here. He's trying to come in with the mix up. Yes, he was successful with it. Takes about 30% for that. Oh, he's trying to go for the offensive hold. What's going to happen here? Wake up. Oh, wow. Nice duck. Oh, he tried to go for the like, he has to launch. He's like, he's the type of guy that will not go unless you make him. Yeah, Hollow needs to readjust. He needs to figure out what's going on here because he's not, he's not setting the tone correctly here. He's getting successful hits. He's just not telling him, hey, you got to do this for, for me because if you don't do it, then I'm going to beat you up. You know what I'm saying? He's just kind of like trying to get these throws in or not taking full advantage of his stunts. He's got to take full advantage of his stunts and just go in. See, like right here, he's doing the same move. He did the same move three times. Who does that? Who does that, right? But it sends a message to it sends a message to Hoodless. It, sends, it lets them know that I don't care if it's the same move every time. You gotta hold it. Oh, barely got him uh, in the middle of that matchup. Slap. Low sweep. Nice duck. Yeah, he could have punched it. He didn't punch it. He did. Oh, nice parry. Oh, whiffs that completely. He could have killed him too without having to do that. <laughs> Yeah, one softball is present to a corner. She is, there's so little that she can do. It's so hard. Yeah. It's so hard for her to do with that situation. Oh, Hollow has to rethink what he wants to do here. He has several puppet characters, but looks like he's going to stick with Alpha all the way. I mean, it's been doing good. So, so far, that's how it's going to be. Maybe he can make adjustment. Yeah, hopefully he can make that adjustment. Um, oh, this stage is very interesting. Yes. Um, if you land a power blow here, you'll get hit into the car and potentially go hit the other car. More than half your health for sure. Yep. And also, um, notice how the floor is not like even, like it's uneven pavement. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes, com like, your combos may win, but you gotta, like, do specific combos. Right. You gotta take into account the ground. Everything, uh, the environment is, uh, it plays a huge role in the OA. You cannot underestimate it. You gotta make sure you take full advantage of what's going on around you, explosive things, the wall, the floor, and of course, the ceiling. So, Hoodless is already taking the first round. Punishes that low kick. Gets the punch, punch, forward kick. Oh, with the mix up into the throw. Right now, Hoodless is feeling himself this big. Yeah. He's in that Zach group. Yeah. He's in there. Once you're in there, you gotta be careful. You gotta knock him out of there. You gotta reestablish yourself here. Gets him with the nuggies. Here we go. What's gonna happen here? Get him, get him, get him. Oh, he tried to do another move after recovering from the previous move, which is... Low sweeps. Again, he's getting those low sweeps. Yeah, he's Hollow, like, he staggered, he doesn't know what to do. Yeah, he seems like he's not comfortable with the matchup. He's not comfortable with how uh, Zach has all his options, so... I'm not sure if he'll be able to readjust, but he does not. So that's two so far. Oh, yeah, it's one, one response, so it's three out of five. Right? Yeah, it'll be three out of five in this matchup. Yeah. So he got one more chance to try to come back. Hollow, you can tell. <laughs> he does like, listen, I hate this match right now. Yeah, he seems chill. But he still, he wants to win. He wants to be in Grand Finals. Like, he told me, I want to win. He's like, I've never been, I never have, I had never done this great before. And <laughs> yeah, this is top eight at a major, actually. And he's been attending yeah. to summer, so that's pretty good. Yeah. 
At this point, he's in the top four for sure. Oh yeah, like even if he loses all the way, he's okay. He's guaranteed uh, third place. Yeah, third place, I think. So he's in top three for sure. He's trying to make it to the top one. This big open area. Big open area with full walls and half walls. Like the half walls are the ones on the, on the corners. All right. So this is trying to mix him up with a little kicks, uh, mid and low mix up. Wow. I thought he was going to get hit by that. What's going to happen? Launch him. Oh, oh wow. He went for it. Oh, he should have done the. Uh... Oh, force get up. Here we go. Oh, Guard break. Oh, nice patience. He did. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it goes so sweet. No, no. That was good play by Hollow. All right. He's getting those three hits again. What's he going to do? Gets him up. Oh, just to go for the throw. He doesn't take full advantage of it, though. What is he going to do here? Goes, goes to the noogies. Here we go. Uh. He's like, man, you should have given me the lunch money. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I looked like he was going to do a cartwheel. Did it too late. Gets hit. I, uh, gets kind of hit blown. Eight hit combo out of the list. Into the wall. Big damage. He just lost half his health. That was a hard read right there. Get ready, fight! Oh, nice. Oh, limbo stun. You got to be careful with that. So that height, once the floater, oh, so high. Oh, he goes to the low again. He's going to go for the mid. Uh, conditioning him. Yep, he, he is. Lower the mid. What, what is wow, it? nice block. Oh, but he did down punch. That's the problem. He does down punch. I think he's, she's negative one after down punch, actually. I could I, be wrong. Possibly. I always thought she, she was good. I felt like he could have gotten more off that juggle, but uh, I guess he was just trying to put him to the wall. The range of that offensive forward is so good. Really far, really far. And he's been successful for the last three times oh, that he's yes, done it. Yes, he's been landing. Maybe uh, might, might have to fit it in a little more into the strategy right now so he can stay alive in this tournament. Oh, get by the kick. Again, oh, see? On high count, look at that. He's going to take good damage this time. Not going to kill, but he's going to be really close. Yep, here All we you go. have to do is just stay back. Get away from the wall. Nice okay. whip punch. Good, good, good. Get ready, fight. Flash kick. Tries to force that but he already attacks on his own right there. Low sweep from Hoodless. Oh, Critical good. burst. I wonder if he's going to get big damage. Let's see what he does. Here we go. That's tough. Get out of Over 50% health already gone. Oh my god, what a read. He sidestepped into the hold? Is that what I just saw? I think he did. Yeah. <laughs> And it looks like Hoodless is in Grand Finals. Yeah, Hoodless is in yeah, Grand Finals. He's been really on a roll today. He's like, when I played him yesterday, he just killed me. <laughs> I didn't know what to do against Rig. He, he always, he's always practicing. He's always trying to develop oh, new yeah, strategies oh yeah, as well. Yeah, he's been grinding every day. Yeah. Grinding nonstop. He tries to learn from all his matchups. Now and he we plays got a uh, popular set right here, Quiggle and x -Tel. Very popular. We all know how this turns out. It's either one or the other. Yeah, yeah. S Caliber Blades versus Quiggle, obviously uh, two of the top players in the community, win of a lot of tournaments. They're very well known in the community for winning several tournaments. Um, it's interesting to say, even having said that, it's interesting to see them actually below these these other guys right now in the sense that usually one or the other will be up there. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, they're both below right now. They're both obviously, losers. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, they can both come back. They can oh, both yeah, back. yeah. But, um, if they don't, that'd be interesting to see two different, you know, first and second place. You know what I'm saying? It oh, could yeah. be it could be Hollow as you know first or second, and it could be Hillis as first or second, and then they could be after that. So it's interesting to see how this tournament has turned out throughout the you know the top eight, and of course the entire bracket overall. Let's get this party so we're gonna do a quick button check. Um, who do you think Quiggo is gonna use against Excalibur? Christy. Christy. Christy or Rachel. And you know Elliot's coming out. Oh yeah. Yeah, course. we know Elliot's gonna Elliot. come out. So that's also um. Okay, there we go. Yep. There you uh, go. A matchup that we all know. Christy versus Elliot. I can tell you right now, Quiggle hates Elliot. He does not. He can't stand that matchup. He does not like the character. And um, obviously, yeah, Elliot has pretty good deep stuns. Yeah, and he just has really long strings. Too. That too. He's really long strings. And like whenever Christy tries to do that, um, what's it called? Yeah, Keho stance. Yeah. Um, it's gonna clip him. Yeah. You. It's gonna clip him. Every time. And that 2 edge plus K has some good range from Elliot and has a high, oh, it's, no, it's a mid punch. A mid punch follow up after that. So Kuba did 40 and she's plus, so it's a 50 50 on that. 
All right, punches him from here from the wall. Takes big damage there. Again with low feet. Here we go. What's gonna happen? What's going on here? Four sex. Oh, the oh, trickery. Yeah. He thought he was gonna do something. Yeah, and he went for the throw. Really ballsy though, because oh, yeah. the amount of time that it takes to get there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice bit of control. Goes up, runs up and throws him. Into the wall. Here we go. What do we got? 40% at least right there. Lost. Quiggle with the delay punches. It's a high counter throw. The only problem with Christy though is her throws don't take big damage. Not at all. Unless you're on the wall, then yeah. But yeah. That opens space. But like Quiggle looks pretty comfortable. Yeah, he's into the rhythm, but this happened also uh, in the last event actually. Uh, oh, yeah, like Quiggle, like, Quiggle got some rounds and sets, and X Factor just made a comeback and won it. Yep. So we're going to see if we're going to be able to close it out. Yeah. Right now, obviously, Excalibur has the lead right here. Yeah. Oh, he went for that one. Okay. I thought he wanted to do the other punch start. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, he tried to go for the quick uh, palm. Palm is super fast, like 9 frames. 9 frames, okay. Looks like he was going to drop that combo. He still gets it. He's going to try to knock him into the wall. I feel like he's trying to get him into the wall, bouncing him. Nice low kick hold from Quiggle. Low get up kick again with the strings. Quiggle establishing the stun system here. That move is neutral. You gotta be careful with that. Alright, so Quiggle's up by one. So one to zero. This is not a best uh, best uh, three out of five. It's gonna no, be two out of three, so. Yeah, best of two. So uh, actually has to adjust. Yep, you'll have like to adjust. Game. You'll have to win here. If not, he is going home. I challenge you. Now for business. Get ready, fight! Yeah. All right, we're in the street level here, and that barrel in the background will take extra health. Uh, you only can use it once. You also have the electric um, panel in the background. It uh, does extra damage as well. Yep. Yep. He's trying to uh, send a message to Quiggle that he's going to keep doing it, but it looks like Quiggle yep. was able to adjust. And hit him out of it. Oh, nice quick stun into the throw. Nice. Nice caliber blades. Trying to do a little quick punching. It's in uh, the range, but wasn't able to bait it out. Here we go. Into the barrel. No. Palm into the face. It's a long. Nice mid punch. A whole lot of quizzle. Yeah. To the wall. What's gonna happen here? That's neutral. Goes for the jab. Yeah, it looked like he was gonna do a super launcher throw right there, right? Yeah. That's what it looked like. It was pretty slow. All right. What's gonna happen here is a mix-up. There's no get-up kits here. Oh my God! A pump to the face. Yeah. There are certain throws on the wall that you get no wake-up kick options. Yeah. It's usually when your character is sitting down. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, jumps over the get-up kick. Very good. Look, look at all the damage he got just for a successful jump over the get-up kick. That was really smart on the quickest part. Oh, here we go. Going to a launch. Oh, no, critical so burst. Oh, no. My teammate, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's feeling each other out right now. Yep, we're oh. trying to see who's going to do a move first. Who's going to make the first mistake. Looks like Excalibur is that candidate. Again, they're spacing each other out. Comes in real quick. Quickle definitely has his hold on point today right now. Yep. Oh, I, I thought he was going to hold the low kick. Yeah, they kind of look like it. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's a wrap. Oh, that's it. Wow. I bet X comes like, damn it, Black Moon. Should have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's all good. They. It's, they, they they know each other's play style, so they know how each other plays. So it could go either way. Right, right, right. So Excalibur eliminated, gets fourth place. Fourth place, that's really rare of him to yeah. like, It's so rare to see him in fourth place. He's always first or second. Yeah, it's very rare when you don't see him definitely on the top three. Um, there's been a few events he has placed below, obviously, but it's not often that you not see often, that. Not often, not, not often at all. Mm -hmm. And now we got a little run back here. Yep. 
It's going to be Hollow versus Quiggo again. Yep. Hollow obviously been on fire, except for when he ran into Hoodless. It seems like Hoodless had his number. Even though the, the, the numbers were fairly low, but like it's still pretty tough competition out there. No, like, absolutely. It absolutely. Really like, good competition. Like this guy right here, he, he took he took Cow and Quiggo. Yeah, he eliminated like, them. I mean, wow. not eliminated, but he beat them both at least once already. So it, we obviously know he can do it. He's done yeah. it already. Putting on a reputation on Team GXR. Right. He's definitely making a statement here. It'll be interesting to see how Quiggo adjusts to his match now because now you would think he had learned from the previous match that, you know, yep. this is what I should not be doing anymore. And he might be getting into his groove. He probably feels really good about himself right now, too, because he was able to beat Escalade Blaze and he was using Elliot. And he didn't give up a match. So I'm sure he understands that, okay, I know what I should be doing now. You know what I mean? And it's always good to come in with that momentum. Even if you're coming from the loser bracket, if you come in with momentum, that's always good. That is good. Very good. Plus, you're here, so it's official. You know, that's it. Once you're here, Black Moon, that's, that's when we know that this tournament went from here to way up here, okay? Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that's true. So, yeah, man, we have you. We got Excalibur. We got Quiggle. We got, you know, Hollow, colors, Hoodless, KP Savage. You got some really good players out really here. Good setup, yeah. Ruff as well, which Ruff was playing incredible. I'm oh, yeah, very he impressed was with him. Doing pretty well. Yeah. I thought uh, I thought he was gonna beat me, but I was like, okay, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I got this. Uh, so here we are. All right, starting it off with the noogies. Here we go. We're in sanctuary here. We got the torches. Got to be careful with the torches. Oh, and there's water, so we got to be careful with slip stunts. Yeah, absolutely, the slip stunts. You got to be careful. Nice parry. You gotta keep 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 in mind of your surroundings. Like every little thing. Yeah. Water, torches. There's the first lift on. We were just talking about it. Yep. Go. Oh, poked in the eye, into the wall. It looks like. Yeah, that'll be it. Yeah. She's so light, you, you the risk for her is so high every time. You gotta be careful with her. Oh nice. Basically comes out a little bit. Oh, goes for the low sweep. Actually, that's not even a bad strategy. If he did the low sweep every time like that and was successful with it, I would go for it. Because if anything else, Alpha still has to get up. You know what I'm saying? And he can get the advantage again. Yeah, that's true. Oh, big damage, man. She's so light and Christy has really good juggles. Oh, delays it. Gets oh, nice crush. Oh, wow. Nice step. I like how he stepped. He took advantage of the fact that she could do that and put him back into the wall for more yeah, damage. Yeah, and he does it again. Oh, okay. Good time he dropped it. That was pretty nice. That's some high level mentality right there. Yeah, absolutely. And I've mentioned this before. Quiggle likes to take advantage of the environment a lot. He's one of the few players that definitely pays attention to all the things that are going on on the stage. And he tries to make, make the best of each scenario. That's right. And it helps him out a lot. I mean, you get those extra 10 points. I mean, 10 points is a lot. That makes a huge difference. Yeah. That makes a huge difference. He's been landing that offensive yeah. so much. On a lot of people. So good. It's very deceptive, though. It's so far, you know what I'm saying? You don't think it's going to reach you, and before you know it, she's on your back. <laughs> it's like it's not going to hit me, but I don't know I got hit. Yeah. All right, now it's ooh, down to the last round. Yep, 2 a piece. Now this is the loser's finals, correct? So this will be a best 3 out of 5. Yeah, five. Oh, almost got the sit-down stun. Three cancels. Catches uh, Quiggle sidestepping. Oh my nice god, finished the whole stream. Oh. I think he was probably just trying to go for a forward throw, but end up getting back forward yeah, throw. Yeah, I guess it was a miss on Quiggle. Yeah. Oh, to the wall, there you go. Oh, there we go. With the launch, yup. That extra damage is so good. Oh, blocks it. Oh, safe. Oh, safe, safe again. again. <laughs> oh. It's funny because Quiggle hesitated right there after the first one, too. Like he knew he was, he was gonna, gonna do oh, oh gets up with the throw! Unbelievable! That was so risky. That was so risky. <laughs> Super going, risky. Going for throws at a situation like that is risky. Yeah. Because if they hit you at a strike, attacking at disadvantage is gonna put Quiggo at high counter. Yep. And it's like he has such little health that anything would have killed him. Really. Yeah. Like a four punch would have. That was him really enough. really gutsy. It was and it, and it was more gutsy because he didn't even hold. He just got him at the end of the animation. It wasn't even high counter. Now we got the war zone. 
All right, the war zone. Got to be careful when you go over the little the sandbags over there. And, of course, you got the barrel over there. So keep in mind those things. Of course, if you have a power blow, you'll be a helicopter in the sky. Yep. Here we go. Quick stun. Oh, hit punch hold from Quiggle. Oh, tries to go for the throw. Oh, Misses nice. it. Oh, yeah. He missed that high counter there. Yeah. Sit down. Force wake up. Oh, wow. Oh, nice crush. Oh, I will launch him. Oh, okay. He's good enough. Because he couldn't hold in that type of stunts. Like, there are, there are some stunts. I mean, no, there are, there are some stunts that you can't stagger this game, but that was one of them. Right. You have to commit to a hold. Looks like... Uh, yep. Pretty and he got it convincingly. He got a great on it. Hollow, um, obviously took the first round, but... Uh, Pickle looks like he's feeling himself all the time. He came in with some good momentum. Oh my uh, god, the right face. There's that thing stuff. Can't hold, that's guaranteed. Yep. Get big damage here. It's gonna happen. Oh, he's trying to go for that situation. Oh, he's trying to go for that throw. He wants that damage. Yeah, he's trying to catch up. He's trying to catch up. Usually, when you're at, at a low health, you want to go for the big stuff. Yep. Okay, he's hitting him. He's gonna go into the wall. He's gonna hit the first part, maybe? Oh, no, no, he doesn't. Not close enough. Nice block. Oh. Just block, no punish. Oh, there you go. So it's yeah, triggered the first part. Uh, another great. Yeah. Quiggle is in the zone. He's not trying to give up anything here. <laughs> that was absolutely awful. And he, um, Hollow's just going to have to figure out what he needs to do right here because it's not, nothing he's doing is working out for him. Um, I'm thinking he's getting hot. He's getting caught by too I many think, counter, uh, counter hits. He should block a little more. Yeah, he needs to block a little like, more. I see him trying to do a lot of springs as range, which is pretty a, a good strat for, for, for Alpha, but like against Christy, like she has good 9 frames attack. So you just have to block against her. Right, right. And her strings are really long too, so... Oh, he got hit by that degree. But see, counter hit. I've seen counter hit come out against Hollow so many times in this match that he needs to be careful. Whatever he's doing, it's just not working out well. Here we go. Come back. Don't go for the throw, whatever you do at this point. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. he tried to go for it there. <laughs> he got killed for it. I'm telling you, man. He's just he's, he's a little too antsy right now. He needs to relax. Yeah. Definitely, he should block a little more. Blocking is good. Yeah, he's losing a lot of life. I think yeah. Google has re so figured much. him out. Um, Hollow is not being able to readjust here. It happens to a lot of players. Yeah. You lose the momentum and... and once you lose it, it's hard to get it back. It is. Yeah. See, Wiggle's seen all his moves right yeah, now. Yeah, he's grinning him like a book now. Yeah. Got poked in the eye. Wow, walks around and gets a high counter throw. He can throw anything on the screen right now. This happens to a lot of players. When players get in their zone and you get out of it, he can read you really oh, good. Okay, he got something going now. Let's yep. see. Really strong throw. He couldn't change the momentum here. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> that was that, wow. that roll. What? Another side step <laughs> too. This guy is in it, man. He's in the zone. It's, there's no getting out of this one. Shenanigans. Yeah, yeah shenanigans. literally shenanigans right there. <laughs> Quiggle. That was so good. Quiggle was so happy, like yes. I so that's three and right? Yeah, three oh, yeah, he uh hollow got destroyed. Yep. So three oh <laughs> hollow. Now he's in the grand finals at least. So we'll get to see um, Hoodless versus uh, Hollow. I mean, not Hollow, Quibble. Uh, yeah, Quibble. And then uh, let's see if Quibble can, can close it off, you know what I'm saying? Finally uh, come back and win the, the grand finals. Um, oh obviously, yeah. Hoodless, I think. I think Hoodless, I think he might take this. He's been grinding every day. Yeah, he's been grinding a lot. Um, always uh, Like, if you're strategies. very committed, like, look at the results. Mm -hmm. He's been Absolutely. grinding every day. Grinding so, every day. So we'll get to see if uh, Hoodless makes it. I think Hoodless obviously can do it. Obviously, Quiggle has more experience in the Grand Finals. And because uh, Hoodless is on the winner's side, true. He, he only has to win three sets, and Quiggle has to win six. Yeah. He has to reset the bracket to send uh, Hoodless into uh, losers. The, the worst part about that, though, is if you reset the bracket, it kind of sucks for the person that was trying to win also, you know what I'm saying? Because if you get, like, two matches, and you're like, oh, I'm only a third match out, and then they reset the bracket, and it's like, you got to start like, over. Oh, got to work hard. You got to work again all over again. Instead of beating a person three times and that's it, you got to yeah. beat them, like, five times. And because these two players, uh, they play multiple characters, um, there's also a strategy going on between character locks. Right. Like, they can pick a character that's not good with this matchup, counter-picking each other. Right, right. 
because obviously the person that wins with that character autom automatically is stuck with that yep. you know, until they lose. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see what happens. Um, I think Hillis could take it, but uh, I'm going to give I'm going to give Quiggle the slight edge. <laughs> the slight edge. <laughs> the I'm going to give edge. him the slight edge. I think he'll pull through even coming out of the loser's bracket. Uh, but again, I think they're both great players. I mean, I think Hoodless can obviously just close it out. He's been oh, yeah, smashing players mm -hmm. really well. Um, so uh, Hoodless is uh, very well known, and he, he'll probably make it happen. I believe in him. He can do it. Hype matches so far. I'm impressed. Absolutely. A lot, like several upsets. I almost had one. Yep. I almost had you one. You could have had it, man. We were watching, man. You had it right there. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. What were your thoughts when you came up with Danger Zone? I mean, do you have an issue with Danger Zone? I, I was like, I mean, when I just heard, I, I, I just had my head down, like just trying to think. And then when, when I looked up, I was like, oh, my gosh. I got to resort to, like, playing it really safe. And once I get launched, it's over. <laughs> you, do, you do not want to get launched. Like, try your best not to get launched. No, absolutely. Also, uh, try to position your character to be near the half wall. Yeah, and that's a lot better than being over the edge. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, one hundred percent. You're one hundred percent right. You don't want to be on the cliff because you're talking about huge damage, dude. You're yeah, talking about fifty percent yeah. at least. Um, the interesting part, though, is such a high level play. You still see drop combos. Oh yeah. So I was tripping out. I was like, wow, how does that happen? You know, some of these combos are already pre-timed and you're good to go. So when I saw some drop combos, I was like, what is going on? Like you should have had that, but yeah, it, it gives life to other players again. <laughs> Like I thought, I had I had a chance, yep, but he still got me. And um, in that matchup when he switched to Christy, I was like, okay, he's picking Christy. I should not, I should not try to go for any strengths on mid range. I should just play it safe and block. Right. Blocking is good, is good against Christy. Yeah. Against his phase, I was mainly I, I was crushing him a lot. I did six XP a lot. Try to uh, do 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 the shoulder strategy. It works sometimes, but not all the time. So. Right. Right. That's a lay fan gimmick. Six six P. She's like negative five at tip, and negative seven. So you, if it's like a close range, you can do a neutral throw. Yeah. Yeah. And then when it's a crystal. And that guy's good block. range too. Oh yeah. He has really good range. Like at least two meters. Two meters. Yeah. De decent range. So they're setting up their stuff. They're about to, uh, uh, I guess, uh, do a button test. Grand yeah. finals. Get ready. Fight. The winner gets one thousand dollars on a free trip. That's to right. Legacy. The winner of this for the battle royale, um, obviously brought to you by Team Ninja, um, you get a thousand dollar pop bonus on top of whatever the entry was. Uh, so you get that plus a paid trip um, and the hotel, um, and all that stuff to the grand finals. The grand finals, you'll have plenty of other competitors that have qualified like Hilly, like Excalibur. Um, obviously, like Rakuto, who won the championship oh, yeah. last year, and he's already gu guaranteed yeah. a free trip. Yeah, he's already he won that. So you're, it's guaranteed to see some top players from all over the U.S. And of course, we have uh, the Japanese representative as well coming in. And of course, Republic of Fighters. For those of you oh, guys just yes. tuning in, Republic of Fighters is going to happen very soon. I believe it's October 22nd. ROF. Yeah, it's going to be happening in France. I believe we're expecting to see Gihakpo there. He's going to show up. He's going to. He's really good. Yes, definitely. I want to miss this guy. He's really good. If you're in the European area, it's going to be in France. Um, I don't have Let's the exact information started. right off the bat right now, but I know it's October 22nd. They're going to have a qualifier there. The winner of that qualifier will get flown over here to the grand finals over here in uh, Philadelphia uh, to try to win the grand championship. And the grand championship, man, there's a lot of money there. Yes. So let's go into this fight. Here we go. Grand finals. Looks like Hoodless is going in. Yep. Groove. It's, 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 that's that groove. Look at that. Yeah, he is. He's in it right now. I think he's happy about his previous wins as well. He got some momentum coming in. Wow. Nice side step. she gets behind you like that. That was really good. That was really good. Here we go. Try some more seconds. Nice. Good punch holes. He was ready for that. All right. So Hoodless and Quibble. Nice. nice. I like that tactic. It's so smart. Like her back throw, it puts the opponent behind you. So good. You might do it again. Oh, she has server throws that. that right, they can reposition. Yeah, set everything else. Oh, Critical nice. burst out of the Quiggle into the power blow. That's a wrap for this round right now. Now, because of that, Hoodless is gonna hold a little more. Yeah, most likely. Oh, nice oh he saw that coming. He saw that good reaction. Alright. There we go. 
All right, he doesn't, see, what's really cool about that, and people may not be noticing that, but that move, even though he did it, he had nothing to lose. It's like the handstand for Hayabusa. He gets knocked out, big deal. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. Smart move by Hillis here. Takes the second. Good, good, good reward with... Yeah, yeah, very little risk. Any risk yeah. yeah. And if it's blocked, I mean, you're, you get the guard break. Guard break, yep. Oh, I'm surprised to do that. I thought that was safer. Forward punch. Up kick. There we go. Gets a quick little juggle. Back to That's the advantage here. Yep. Oh, he gets so poked in the good. eye. Oh, wow. He could have had him into the barrel. Could have done huge damage. Yeah. Just go for the ground hit. The, the ground hit. Oh, burst. Oh, oh, he tried to launch. It was pretty smart to do, but I think he had to take up. Yeah, he definitely has to take too much. He can't have to take too much. Oh, he delayed that string. That was good. That was so good. In this game, delaying your strings is, is awesome. It's an awesome way to condition your opponent. Absolutely. Messing up their rhythm and timing. Yep, it makes them second guess themselves. It makes yep. them wonder, are they going to really finish it or are they not going to finish it? Yep. And because of that, you can expose your uh, competitor and see what's going to happen. Are they going to hold? Can I mix them up now? That's right. Force tech. Low sweep. Oh, nice nice big punch hold out of Quiggle. Low sweep again. Four kick, low sweep. Mid lows. Oh, he holds. He thought he was going to do a get up kick. It's thrown for that. Oh, what a delay. delay. Delaying your strings so you can get countered. Got up and throw. Oh, he has to nice way too much, but it was able to get the hold, though. All right, Quiggle gets... Oh, wow, oh, yeah. what a... It was a little late on that. Yeah. I thought Quiggle actually was going to hit him there. It was. Yeah, I thought so, too. Yeah. All right, so Quiggle needs to readjust himself here. He needs to take some of that momentum away from Quiggles to make sure that he doesn't get steamrolled. So right now, he's building the momentum up. Took about 50%, almost 50% health out of him. He can back up. Wow! That range from that kick. What happened there, I think, is... The hitbox extended. Yeah, well, not only that, I think that both hits ended up hitting each other, but in terms of stronger, it took oh, yeah, priority. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. So it took some priority, ended up getting that stun, get wow, some extra life. That range of that kick. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, wow, down punch. Here we go. All right, oh, I think nice. I think Quiggle's starting to get his rhythm now. He's starting to get the rhythm. If he can take this momentum into the next round, he can probably shut down this match. Oh, oh no, that's safe, actually. Well, uh, it can be safe. It can be safe, yeah. More throw into another fourth throw. Here's the mind game. Ooh, got him in the middle of the sidestep. Low sweep. Down four punch punch. That was a quick start. That, that was a quick start. Yeah. And he also hesitated too, so he didn't play in his face. Oh, back turn. Oh, nice. Really nice. Good. Really good combo right there. They're about the same right now. Low sweep. Oh, yeah, he's, he's conditioning. He's, get, he's conditioning. Him. Yeah. See that? That's good. He's getting scared, so that's that's... Quiggle got to get out of that mindset. He has, to, he has to figure it out. He has to make Hoodless be scared of the mix-up. Yeah. It's by the wall. What's going to happen? All right, nice throw. Just a couple of punches into the throw. Backs up. He could have whiff punished there, but he wasn't ready. I can tell. Low sweep from Hoodless. Forward throw on high counter. Another forward throw. Oh, Stop the forward kick. Yeah, if he thought he was going to throw him again. Okay, so this is what's going on right now. Quiggles has been sidestepping a lot, and he's been getting hit out of every sidestep. He needs to stop doing it. He needs to pick his sidestep a lot better. And he's also getting held at key moments. So he needs to be careful with all that stuff. Right now, I think he can still win this round, but he has to be extremely careful. Let him whiff something or run up and throw. It's one of those two options. Here we go. Nice. So two rounds apiece here. Quiggle down a match. Oh, nice standing kick. I'm not sure what uh, Hullis was doing. Maybe he just wasn't blocking. Oh, nice job. Guard break. Oh, nice step. See, that was a good moment. Nice juggle. Here we go. Get him up. Oh, he hesitated too much. Quiggle could have had something there. Oh, interesting what happened right there. Quiggle actually stopped the attack. With the low sweep. Here we go. <laughs> oh, the, it's the conditioning. It's impressive. And Zach is pretty, it's really good. Oh, no get up kick. What's going to happen? Really good stun. This could be it. Oh, oh he went for the throw. Oh, oh my god, he got nah, the that, that, was, that was really risky, but it paid off. Yeah, it did. Actually, it was too big risk. I'm surprised Quiggle didn't lose that match, but it paid off. Um, I think uh, what ended up playing in his, in his favor was that Hoodless second guessed himself at the end right there. He wasn't sure if he should push a button. Oh, this, this stage is really crazy because because the floor is ice, it's still considered as water. Right. So it slips down, so kind of got to be careful there. Yeah, the entire stage, too. So there's no hiding it. So it's one match apiece. Um, just keep that in mind. 
Here we go. Four throw. Oh, low nice, sweep. Right Slip stun. Was guaranteed the follow up. Gets knocked onto the floor. Oh, oh. right there again. See that? They just crazy. Nice sweep. You notice that um, Hullis is using. Wow, he beat the get up kick right there. Uh, you'll notice that Hullis is using really good stuns, like lift stuns right now. He was using a few other stuns that weren't working out for him, but now he's changing it up a little bit. Taking it. Definitely taking advantage of the, the critical hole system right here. Nice mid punch hole out of Quiggle. Gets thrown. Oh, counter hit. He must have been pushing the button there. So, <laughs> run up and block. Run up Remember and block. that. Run up the and block. best high level strategy <laughs> in the game. I mean, it's, it's a good way to close uh, close the gap. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a good way to find out um, what's going on and, and if your opponent's going to do something crazy. Because you don't know. This high-level play, so you got to be careful. Forward throw. Forward throw again. Punch, punch. punch, punch, punch. That's a wrap. Uh, that blender is so scary to deal with. Absolutely, absolutely. So remember, it's one match apiece. Um, yeah. Quiggle is uh, losing this matchup right yeah, now. Yeah, it should be 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Looks like Hilda might make a 2-1. Yep. Or throw into punch punch. Oh, he's oh, into the breakable object. The launch. Oh, oh he misses it. I, I knew he was too far. It was a little too far. He yeah. should have gone with something else. And I'm surprised they haven't nice. dropped in this top area. Oh, nice. So this could be closing this one out right here. Oh, we got hit. Uh, all right, yeah. looks like Hoodless. He might take this. Yep. 2 1. Bam, 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 one more bam, bam, bam. set. Wiggle was wondering. He's like, yeah, he's like, I, I see what he's doing. I just need to adapt. I need to adapt. I need to think about it. He's rubbing his chin. He's trying to figure out. He might switch to another character. Like he does have multiple plays. Kasumi, Face, True. Rachel, Lisa. I right, stick it with Christy. Yeah, he's sticking with Christy. I think that's a good move. It was either stick with Christy or maybe something like Rachel or something like that. But going to Face, I don't think would have played in this favor. Right? I think with this particular matchup. Look at that stun. You have to trigger Showtime by landing a wall combo and the Tiger action. You'll get it with the Rings of Fire. Absolutely, yeah. Once you hit the Showtime, then the Tigers will come out. In the meantime, hit him towards the Tigers. You get an extra juggle. Low speed. Guard break. Four kick kick. Go. To the wall. What's going to happen? Oh my god, he has set up some of the freaking ground game right there. Oh, oh too long of a delay. What's going to happen here? That, oh, oh my god. So What's gonna so oh, he lays on the floor too? Oh. oh my god. I don't even think Quiggle was thinking he was going to lay on the floor. He's like, no, I'm not going to go for it because I'm going to leave myself open. But he actually should have gone for it this time. Punish. Punish. Well, not a punish, another free throw. Oh, he was trying to go for it again. Yep. Oh, Quiggle's starting to adapt a little bit. He's like, listen, I'm going to take the risk and try to hold it. Oh, get up kick. Oh, he missed the throw just by a little bit. He could have had something there. Guard break. Oh, oh. nice side step. That was really Very good. good. There he goes for it this oh, time, nice. see? Went the down punch, got a low throw punch. Oh my god, he goes oh, for the face over here. Jab, jab. Very good. He uses a little feint just to kind of like throw him off a little bit. Get him again oh, with the back nice. Wow, what a hold. That was so I didn't get that hold. Yo, somebody need to check this guy's controller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, How do you get that? Good, yeah, that How'd you quick. get that? <laughs> All right, low sweep. Another low sweep. Tries to go for the ground game, but yeah, tech rolls. He's trying to condition him to crouch more so he can go for meds. Yeah, here we go. Nice punish. Very good punish. Oh, look at that. Quiggle is just not reading him. Yeah, he's not reading him well. He's trying to figure out what he needs to do. He seems out of place. Um, normally, Quiggle would be a little more up in your face, but right now you can tell he's like across the screen. Yeah, so. he's like, I got the life lead. I, I don't have to commit to something. You, exactly. You have to come to me. Yep. I'll, I'll, let, I'll play lame. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to win. Hey, he's trying I'm to win. Play, I'm playing like a champ. He's like, there's oh, a lot there of stuff goes. on the line. Yep, there he goes. Like, do whatever it takes to win. And it's so funny because when he was on here commentating with me, we were talking about the same situation just like we, me and you are right now. We were talking about if you have that extra life lead, don't, don't come into anything you don't have to. And he, he played it right, and he made it come to us. Low get up kick. Here we go. They back off again. Again, Hoodless has the life lead again. And at this point, knowing that he has the round lead, I mean the life lead and the round nice. lead and the match lead. He's timing those kicks so well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. He can play it smart the whole way. The only thing I would be careful right now is that Quiggle has his life at low, less than 50%. Oh, he just went in and threw. Which means he can do the power blow. Yep, once you reach that 50% health bar, you have access to the power This could be blow. it right here. Hoodless could be coming in for the win right here. 
He could be winning the TFC oh, 2017. Oh my goodness, so missed the last oh. one. Comeback. Are we getting a comeback? X Factor. Lugo can do it. No! Oh, we got it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Congratulations to Hillis for that winning so good. the yeah. last qualifier of the Battle Royale here at TFC 2017. Yeah, he deserved it. It was Raleigh, grinding. North Carolina. Grinding Unbelievable. Really for it. He played really well. He really, what, what really ended up happening there, I mean, he just ended up getting Quiggle out of the zone. They both came in strong. Obviously, they, they won their previous matches, and, you know, Quiggle was just knocked out of his groove. He just couldn't get into the yeah, groove. He, he, got he was with the low making sweeps. them up with the lows and the mids and timing them really good. Right. You can delay those strengths too. And he was ca catching him. Absolutely. Absolutely. So right now the, the top uh, competitors, the top three competitors are up there. They're getting their, their, their medals. Maybe yeah. a little bit of prize money and some recognition. They're getting all the photos. You know, they get, become like the superstars. You know what I'm oh saying? Oh yeah, we got the medal now. Yo, Team GXR, they've been going in. Yep. We got two of them. But in the top three, yeah. Hollow, yep. Absolutely. Congratulations to all those uh, top three uh, competitors. And, of course, to everybody that came to the event. There's a lot of stuff that goes on during the event. There's several things and there's stuff to hang out. There's, we're actually right across the mall, which is kind of funny, oh, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> this, yeah they changed the, the venue. It used to be at, um, at, at, at the Hilton somewhere yeah. else. But now this is a pretty cool-looking venue. Absolutely, absolutely. So hopefully for you guys tuning in, hopefully you guys enjoyed the matches. Um, there's several, there's a lot of content up in the DOA page and on the Team Ninja's Twitter as well. Um, you're getting, uh, did you know, videos and stuff like that, player spotlights. You were one of the spotlighted players as well. Oh, yes. Um, we I'm got glad to be there. Yeah. So it was good to have you on there. Hubs was the most recent one. We have another one coming up real soon. Definitely take uh, keep track of all that stuff. All these efforts are obviously for the community, for you guys to, you know, uh, learn uh, the game a little bit better, especially with so many people downloading the game you know we've already passed 10 million so that's that means there's more people constantly trying the game out for the first time and we're just trying to make that transition a little easier for those of you guys that are trying to make the ultimate transition uh, try to go beyond the game these tournaments are for you this is this is the stuff that we put together so all you guys can come out here give it a shot test your skills and see if you can be one of these guys if, to see if you're the next hoodless or if that or if you're the next black moon rising <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's really fun Yes, it can be social. If you want to be competitive, it's too. Yeah, it's all fun and yep, it's all fun too. And you get so many matches. You can hang out. It's like a huge, like ultimate, like sleepover type of thing. Because you have like 20, 30 players that just kind of go into a room sometimes and just playing match after match, having a great time and just making the best of this whole situation. So we're glad to be able to create an environment for you guys at the same time, but also that you guys come in, come in here, embrace each other, create friendships. And have a great time. Yeah, and we appreciate Team Ninja so supporting us all the way. And I'm glad like they just still keep on doing it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. NEC, big stuff. Um, it's the ultimate tournament for Dead or Life fan. Anybody, that, even if as a spectator, if you just want to see the, the the best of the best from around the world, definitely check it out. It'll right. be it'll be in uh, Philly. And it'll be Russia. In, yep. And in December, so you got plenty of time to plan. Definitely see if you can make it out there. And we hope to catch you guys out there for the next event. Yep. I will be there. Yes, be there. You got to be there. You got to be and there. And we got some new Japanese faces, actually. I believe we so. Got, um, I forgot his name, but he plays Mai, and he eliminated Terror Rock. Oh, it's really? pretty impressive. He, he, he took out the, the best late-bank Japanese yeah. player. Yep. It's so and, good. of course, Akira is coming. Oh, yeah. JC Akira is obviously coming. And then we're going to see also what's going to happen at the Republic of Fire. So don't miss that out. That's October 22nd, um, France. Um, and you, you'll see more details uh, as the event gets closer um, on the actual Facebook page and, of course, the Twitter. So for now, guys, we're going to go ahead and cut to a quick break. The next game will be coming up. But thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you had a great time. Yep. And I hope to catch you guys at the next event. See you later, Meninges. See ya.